<laughs> uh we enjoy that <laughs> yeah it's um something like i just woke up thinking you know what what it's like the beginning of december first jp learning stream of december and i'm like hello hello, hello hi hi hello Luke. <laughs> yeah um and i figured you know what let, let, let's 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 keep it a bit festive um so i figured you know what Let's go put out like a Japanese Christmas like classic. Um, that's basically um, Christmas Eve from Tatsuro Yamashita san. Or, or actually no, that's if you if we're like gonna go with like the actual Japanese naming convention, it's Yamashita Tatsuro san. So, am I winning? I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> tell me. Also, I, I I don't understand that meme. Um, <laughs> Uh, so very bad at it. Uh, but how's everyone doing today? How is um, how's um their Sunday morning treating them? I know, like, um, it has gotten a bit cold. Uh, I have like, uh, seen reports of snow falling down on people's vicinities. Uh, I'm most likely like um. Uh, for people who live a bit north of everything um they are being subjected to the white stuff so so yeah um keep yourselves warm keep yourselves bundled up you know like get yourselves comfortable it's this is this is the perfect comfy like season uh you know like uh in some respects, winter um, is kind of like a, a, a good season to be in. Like, not necessarily my favorite, but it's like if I were to, like to choose, if I were to put like um, the four seasons in order in terms of preference, right? Beginning from like me not liking it to like me li to like me liking it. Summer will be like at the at the bottom um spring um second uh ac no actually no second will be fall third uh, no sorry um last will be like summer right third will be fall second will be winter and first will be spring i i love spring um but winter is like a close second so that's this one's look this is when it's Luke. <laughs> yeah, I um, I uh, like I, 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 I had like a spur of the moment. I um, yeah, you know, like like Luke and I like have been like uh, ever since I first debuted, like he like he was he was there, like you know, um. So I figured, you know what? What? Why not? Why not? Um, you know show gratitude to that by giving him more responsibilities <laughs> uh, but i i guess i i um i kind of failed to like um uh, give him some advance warning to that it was just a spur of the moment like uh but yeah no it's um uh i, th I, th I think like yeah it's just like i don't know i i, I guess like i was like i was like there, there was some thought put into it. Let's just, let's just say. Uh, also, um, it's what? It's December three. I think it's already. Oh yeah, December three. Yeah. Um, it is the uh, first week of December. Um, and you just heard some Christmas music in my loading screen. So, um. Yeah, no. I hope I hope you guys have plans for Christmas, you know, like um or the holidays. Um you know, it's it's I think um something that, you know, like I I I would say like December is not necessarily like a month to like celebrate like, you know, certain 
figures that have gone into deity status, right? Uh, but it is a moment, a month to um, kind of like just take stock of like what has happened over the past year, right? And uh, yeah, and being cooped up in the house, like, you know, with a, with a blanket, with some hot cocoa um, with you is, you know, it, it you're kind of forced to do some self-reflection, so um and yeah it's, it's 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 something that i guess like you know it's a thing so yeah it's it's um it's i hope you guys are like uh, have plans you know that's i think i think that's what i'm trying to say like you know if you have any plans to go to, um visit family or go out somewhere go to a ski resort um i think that i think that'll be like a that'll be great or if you just planning on staying home, that's also good too, right? Um, yeah, like it's just a moment for self-reflection, you know, like you just be cozy and stuff. Interesting way to give it and more work in your streams. <laughs> um, I mean, like, I, 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 I. I I, I, yeah, you know what? There's, there's no, there's no getting around it. Yeah, I, I, I did literally just say, um, give like, um, Luke more responsibility. But, um, I, 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 I gotta put it in an awkward spot here, Grim. But, uh, I don't know, like, I, in, in, in most moments, I, th I think like it's just I, I could, I could do the mod work. Um, it's just like yeah, like if ever like, um, you know, I I stream in like hours that you know Luke is like available, right? I because I usually stream like um, where like he's about to go to bed. So in a way, like it's not nothing really changed, right? <laughs> um, I would dare go skiing. Okay, um, uh, but to be honest, like I um. I don't know. I don't even know how to ski nor skate. Uh, I only know how to like not slip and fall um, when there's like black ice or when there's ice in like in the streets. Like I, I know how to do that. I'm not sure if that's a skill, but um, yeah, it it it, it um, hospitals and clinics um, here make a killing like. Fixing um, broken knees and sprained hips because they keep falling down, right? So, um, uh, but that's that 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 that's that's what that's what winter is in cold countries, right? Um, for people who do not live in cold countries, um. It's actually a very, very nice season to be in. Um, it's still, it, it's still colder, but not too much that like it's um you know it's snowing and you have ice underground and like you know, and give it give it a month or two like the snow the freshly fallen snow turns into like either two things either um uh either uh. It either it's it the ice either the snow turns into compact ice that's just like you know you can just skate through or uh, on or it becomes that dirty abomination of like you know it it, it looks like it looks like it's powdered coal but it's actually ice that's been like that has like uh asphalt dirt uh, car exhaust and sewer water all mixed in together with the snow <laughs> So uh, yeah, it, it becomes like almost it almost has that coal like consistency or like that color. Uh, my dad has two bolts in his knee from. Oh God. Okay. All right. You know what? You know what? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Let, let's. <laughs> Only people who know how to ski, skateboard, uh, snowboard, or like, um, skate. You get you can go do your winter sports. Um, that's only negative five at the moment. Okay, yeah. I mean, that's still snow falling temperatures, right? But yeah, it is a bit early to talk, uh, 
her talk about like you know oh it's snowy or it's a christmas time or like oh my god that's like cool. we gotta we gotta like do some you know chores which involves like shoveling snow which by the way is something i hate uh doing uh but i have to because um I'm not sure if like you guys have that like um uh actually let me um is there a th you know, I guess I'll, I'll... yeah I, I guess like there's this thing here where like um if you live in a house and there's a sidewalk in front of your house um and it's snowed in right you are obligated to shovel not only your the pathway to your house but your share of the sidewalk right it's not really like it's not really like in the city ordinance or anything like that or it's like in federal law or provincial law or anything but there is this unwritten rule where um you have to shovel the snow to clear the sidewalk for pedestrians um, but yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a thing. It's a thing. Uh, have you heard of a great game called World of Warcraft and Season of Discovery? Um, I've heard of the first one. I mean, who has not, right? Uh, is that a Season of Discovery? Eh? Season of Discovery. Oh, wait, it's a... That thing, it's that thing. I, 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 uh, I keep forgetting. Like it's, 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 it's like Burning Crusade, but, um, but, but in what, in what, like term or like name used to like define like episodes of like, wow. Um, okay. So they, they, they released a new one. Yeah. Three days ago. Uh, okay. Yeah, well, it's been a while since I've played WoW, so, like, um, yeah, I, I played this, I played, like, World of Warcraft before. <laughs> Ow! Ah, <laughs> uh, thank you for the head pats. <laughs> ow, ow. <laughs> ow, ow. <laughs> I, you know, I, I can't. <laughs> ow. <laughs> Night Night doesn't seem to like WoW, Krim. Uh, learn better. <laughs> Should you put a cooldown on that? <laughs> uh, I mean, I, I guess I could. Like, actually, yeah. But, um, yeah, well, uh, <laughs> I think I should. I think I should. Oh, thank you, Pass Yuki. Um, good way to get rid of points. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I guess like in that, mm, I am struggling. You know what? I, I, I am. I am. I am kind of struggling to like think of like um other redeem rewards for my channel. Like I. I was hanging around uh, with uh, uh, in Ferret Face's stream, and I could probably like maybe like abscond with an idea or two um, with that. Um, I I feel like I could go with like some sound like blurps or anything like that. It's amazing what you can do with a post-it note. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, look, like I I I, I so um. As you could, as you could probably tell, whether like if if you like watch streams, like if you watch both Luke's and I streams, like I'm sure that's proper English, but I have been like taking some creative inspirations from Luke, um, and <laughs> if I if I if I, if I take like uh, his post-it note idea, I, I mean like that, that that I think I'm gonna be like I'm, I'm gonna like yeah I I'm, I'm it's gonna feel. I'm gonna feel a bit ashamed now. <laughs> um, 
So I'll try to like think of some. I'll try to steal ideas from someone else at this point. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, it's a. Uh, it is a good. Is a good idea? Yeah, I really, I really like the fun, like putting like a, a note on in your forehead, that, like, and people can write whatever they want with that note, as long as like it's not offensive, right? So, but how's everyone doing? How is um, how is how are people like you know, uh, waking up today, uh, this Sunday morning, and if you are. Uh, are like across the pond like you know how is um your afternoons going um this sunday oh wait for a tarkov wipe <laughs> oh god um uh, i guess like all right like i did say like i usually like do my scheduling after like my sunday streams but um i probably like have to go I probably am looking into doing like a a collab with with Hero. Uh, it's been a while, right? So we'll be collabing with. I'm I'm gonna be collabing with him uh, with a hunt game, which probably like is like a good segue to a Tarkov like collab with uh, with you, Krim. So um, pretty good. Gave up on a program <laughs> on programming assignments. Only twenty percent through it. Oh. God. Yeah, um, not sure if people like are familiar with programming, um, uh, apart from Luke and I, um, but yeah, it's if you're not familiar with programming and um, it it it's it 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 feels like um it's something that's um it 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 feels like something like that's just like. At first glance, nigh impossible to work to work uh, uh, to work out. But for someone like me who um, has some experience with that, um, it's kind of like not that difficult, I guess, as long as like you can like distill the problem into like smaller chunks, as I would say it. Uh, in the meantime, leveling in WoW Classic, no AFK skilling. Yeah, I can tell. Like, I, I think you were, like, really, like, deep in the sauce in terms of, like, oh, Crim's, like, kind of, like, probably, like, either, like, doing something in real life or, like, gone gone off to play some MMO or something. <laughs> I'll give a pretty fast. I kind of guess. I tend to learn programming, but I get, gave up pretty fast. I can kind of guess of it going on somewhere. Yeah, yes. A lot of people have that, like, that normal ex a lot of people have that kind of experience i guess like when it comes to like their introduction to programming there was some numpy syntax error that was causing the command to make an array full of zeros have a few values that were ever so slightly not like one it's ever so slightly not zero like syntax error <laughs> <laughs> um, and that wasn't anything I programmed. That wasn't a provide part, so it's giving me a headache. Okay. I mean, I mean, the main thing is that you have to remember that the code does what you say, not what you want. It does what you say, not what you want. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, 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 I would agree with that. I would agree with that. Uh, this was like a problem I didn't create. The command worked perfectly for eight of the 10 values. Yeah. So yeah. Um. So, I mean, like, if if people have a similar struggle with like a particular with this, it, with programming, right? Um, whenever you have like these kinds of issues, um, I would typically like deconstruct them, right? Um, for example, you have like. 15 lines of code and that 15 and those 15 lines of code aren't doing exactly the kind of output you want i would then like just take five of the of those lines and execute that and see whether like that particular five line snippet of code is doing exactly what it's supposed to do in relation to the others um other lines that's how i troubleshoot so um i have a computer science house based looking at it and had no clue why i was doing that <laughs> so um a, a, a little a, a little Stuart lore 
but I I I am I I did computer science before. Um so I don't know. I don't know, man. Like your computer science housemate probably needs to like step the f up. <laughs> he needs to know this stuff, man. Uh, but yeah, 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 it's um. In some ways, yeah, it's actually a bit. It's 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 equal parts fun, programming, and equal parts aggravating. So, um, I'm sorry, equal parts, actually. No, it's actually like 70-30, I would say. 70% aggravating. <laughs> uh, the fun part comes when, like, everything works. Um, when everything works, it's almost like, it's almost like getting on a high. Like, it's like, it's like being on drugs, even though, like, I, for one, have never taken drugs. <laughs> yeah, all right, I'm going to stop. TOS breaking. <laughs> uh, Fix it to the end by manner replacing the first two values. NP zero's command just puts not working. Oh, okay, cool. There we go. You got you got it fixed. You know that, that, that's basically like, you know that that's basically like computer science. Um, I would say um because uh, the, the the simplest the simplest like so um solution to a problem is actually like the best solution. Because you are working with machine, you're you are working with machines. Like machines are like the dumbest things on the planet. They only understand zero and one, nothing more. So in order for you to like work with the machines, you have to be on their level. Um, where like you know, you 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 need to be under like, you need to be dumb. You need to be like borderline. You know the R word. To actually like understand them. That's what's that's why like every now and then I I you know I act dumb because that's kind of like you know I, I I do tend to work with machines as well. So check this Discord. Um. <laughs> oh God. Also, well, well yeah. Jesus Christ. Also, welcome to um, stream uh, VA. Oh, yeah. Um, for people who are unfamiliar with what's going on. Yeah, this is my Discord. Um, yeah, so if you guys want to hang out and just post stuff there for me to, like, react, you know, and, you know, it's there. You want to just, like, check out whatever the hell I'm doing off stream. Um, I'm, it's, tip it's, I'm fairly active in that. Um, Discord server, so don't worry. It's like, um, you're wondering whether if I'm not active or not, but uh, I've been here since start. I just finished daily Nikkei on. Oh, okay. So it's Green League of Legends. Oh God. Um, I think everyone. I think I'm the only person in my server that does not play WoW or no LOL. Um, probably a good thing because <laughs> uh. Uh, that's the thing. I, 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 um, I never, for some reason, got into MOBAs. Um, uh, my first and last MOBA was the original Dota, Dota 1. That's it. I never played Heroes of New Earth, Leagues of, League of Legends, nor Dota 2. Nor are there, like, the other, like, spin-offs. What whatever. I haven't touched it in a while. To be fair. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I can kind of see the appeal, but I, I, I guess like I guess when I played the first Dota, like I can never get around to like the recipes and like the character builds. Um. And I think that was a fundamental kind of issue with that. I guess never got addressed um, when when it comes to playing those kinds of games. To the point that yeah, I, I never really got to like the other spinoffs. Uh, new season seems interesting. Kind of goes back to what's back. They kind of gets used to Stuart. No one learns it in a day. 
Oh, so so are, are you saying like um League of Legends has seasons and stuff? I mean, I guess that I guess that's what keeps like the game fresh. Um. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm aware. I'm aware. Like, I mean, I, I had the same like relationship with Tarkov, right? So, um. But yeah, it, it's it's. And then I, I hear horror stories, right? Like, and like, you know, like when you play League, um, you know, like y your foot falls off or something. I don't know. <laughs> and then, um, and I, I, I can, I, I still, I, I can, like, I still live my life okay without playing, like, League of Legends. So, never really had the impetus to, like, play them. But, er but at some point, probably I might. I mean that's just Lee. <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, I mean like for a game that's been released like what? When, when, when was that ga when was that game released? Um because like I was still playing Dota 1 when League um came about, right? So, I would assume that's been like since forever. Oh, 2009. 2009. Yeah. Yeah. It is like 13 years old now or 14 yeah that's you have life damage for you <laughs> yeah yeah for for some reason league players are very pessimistic um with their gaming with their gaming choice um mental gymnastics are unreal if you want to get wins and ranked okay i guess i guess that's probably the reason that's probably like like how like I'm not sure if you're seeing this, but the the Google review summary is like very mixed. You got either I love this game so much and like I want this game to crash and burn. Um, uh, but uh, yeah, um, I think it's just an overly competitive first free to play grind fest game in general. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. so yeah, um. I think that's the reason why. Like, um, uh, I don't know about you guys, but I have, I never really understood the whole like competitive scene, um, where like you bust your bum trying to get to a particular level, um, I mean, I did had an episode of that. When I was playing Overwatch, I think I was like platinum. That's the highest rank I was I ever ever been in Overwatch platinum. Um, but I, I don't know. I don't know. I I guess I guess once once you get into that competitive mindset, like it like the fun kind of like goes out the window. I don't know. League can be fun if you don't give. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's what I was about to say. Yeah, I was just uh uh. An annoyance but in overwatch easy though um okay cool yeah you know what yeah yeah i i that's just that's just that's just like that's basically like yeah my my um mindset when it comes to competitive games like like get me to the easiest part of competitiveness in this game and i'm done i'm good you know, I just want to play. I just, I want, I just want to play it for fun. You know, um, I have experience with War Thunder. I mean, War Thunder. I don't know if they actually love it. You're just guests like this. <laughs> like <it. laughs> um, I don't know. I don't know. Like, people do tend to do that. Actually, yeah. I, I myself have done that before. Like, I, I I've gaslit myself to like, um like the game hoping like you know maybe maybe it's some it's a game that you kind of love you like learn to like right um i mean in league more of an ego player stuff to rank but for me i just want to get the skins let's see how high i can go in there okay that's good that's good as long as, long as you have like a defined objective when you're playing a video game that's 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 healthy um even though like I never historically played games that way. I only play I play games to like, you know, wind down. That's why like um um uh, I 
am extremely good with Left 4 Dead 2. Um, because that was the only game I had in my computer for like the longest time. Like I kid you not. Like this, I had I played Left 4 Dead 2 for almost seven years because that was the only game I ever played. I ever played so. So yeah, I whenever I go into like collabs with Left 4 Dead 2, I I I, I hope people played on expert because oh god like this is normal it's just boring now though i'm a r r riven i'm not sure if i'm pronouncing that right riven yasu i mean <laughs> okay okay um again like i've never played league so but apparently like yeah oh yeah, yeah you know what yeah the mobus yeah yeah, 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 yeah yeah you tend to like have a main yeah you're right you're right because in, in in Dota One, my main was Syllabear. That's it. That was the only guy I knew. Like this is the only recipe like build stat that I knew. I'm not even sure if people know who Syllabear is because it's an old game, right? So I don't know why some of my pal just spent half their minimum wage salary on more than their vehicle because it's rare, even though it's clearly our. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like I, 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 I um. Gotcha games that involve like real currency, like I, I, I'm scared. I'm scared. Like I, 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 um, especially when you kind of have some money, right, in the in the background. Uh, not because the temptation is there, right? So I, 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 I do. I don't trust myself, basically. <laughs> At least with the whole paycheck. Yeah, 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 no, 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 that's what I'm saying. Like, I, 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 I don't trust myself. Um, I've been playing Left 4 Dead 2 since release, since back when I was still late elementary, early middle school. Yeah, 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 I think, so when was Left 4 Dead 2 released? Um, Left 4 Dead 2... 2009. Oh. <laughs> um, all right, we, we're, 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 all right, chat, we're just going to talk about 2009-era games. Um, <laughs> um... Uh, it's just a. Let me know if I'm pronouncing their names correctly. Eh? It's just a Riven and Yasuo, Riven. It's because of the cancer carriage. And what else in the game? Oh. Okay. Okay. I mean, like in Dota One, I think. I'm not sure what the who the cancer characters were. Um. I know Cardell. No, Cardell Sharp Eye was like. I mean, yeah, he was kind of cancer, but um, whatever. <laughs> uh, best year for gaming ever. Dracula Nine was released two thousand nine. What? I know. Yeah, Dragon Quest is like an institution. Um, in terms of RPGs. Oh yeah, it is two thousand nine. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, like. And it's funny enough, yeah, I've never played a single game, Luke. Maybe because it's a Nintendo DS, right? It's a Nintendo line of game, and unfortunately, yeah, I'm a PS boy. Um, like the VSR ratio, I really. <laughs> yeah, people get people get tilted in MOBAs. Like, I, I, you have no idea. I'm not sure, like, if you guys have ever lived in that time where, like, where like land cafes were a thing. Um, to people who have not, um, it's based, I, I'm going to paint, I'm going to paint you guys a word picture. So, um, land cafes are basically like little dinghies of rooms, um, where like you have like computers lined up, uh, beside each other and you'd have like students, layabouts and, uh, you know, all manners of like, you know psychos like um you know they congregate in those rooms and they play like dota with each other you know some smoke some actually drink sometimes you know in the vicinity of children <laughs> and uh yeah and sometimes like whenever you play games like moba like their primal instincts just take over and uh yeah they they, they uh they, they they go into fights shouting matches you know so <laughs> Uh, good old times when uh, best friend still is taking 
for an either uh, for or some other games in PS2. Yeah, 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 you know, I guess you could say like yeah, like before like the advent of like of uh, high speed internet that was like you know, it was a social thing. And Riven players are considered toxic. It was still a high skill character with Q and A cancels. Yeah. I mean, again, I've never played, but um, the the investment people have with MOBAs, like they, it, 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 it brings out the best and worst in people, and it's it, it manifests in 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 those in those it, it it and those get manifested in those land cafes. Uh, the next day, role playing soldiers with toy. Guns. Oh yeah, 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 you know, imagination like. The DS, uh, single greatest handheld ever. I'm gonna take your word for it, um, uh, because I think I don't even. I'd never owned a handheld. Um, I've only borrowed. I think I borrowed like uh, a PSP to play what Metal Gear Solid and Grand Theft Auto. I forgot like what which Grand Theft Auto was on the PSP, but um. Uh, but yeah, most handhelds I've ever like played were emulated once. So yeah, I never, for some reason, yeah, I never really like invested in myself with a with a handheld. Uh, and the general social rejects. I mean, brightest sex happies. <laughs> true, 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 true. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, Lowe's Land Cafe is like attracted a wide spectrum of psychos, so um, but yeah, they're they're long gone, but I'm not sure. Um, I think there's there's a land cafe that's sprung up it around my old neighborhood, um, here in you know, in my in my place, and yeah, it was kind of weird. Like, I thought, like, they were gone. I, th I thought they were, like, you know, they weren't, you know, popular anymore. But I think people just miss that kind of, like, experience. In your room at the time, a neighbor of mine bought me Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater for birthday. When that time, I didn't know a single word in English. Because <laughs> even though I play PS2, all I do is just wander around while I'm trying to do the right thing. Funny enough, yeah, 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 I'm not sure. So, uh, uh, apart from Luke and Night Night, I guess, and Yuki, um, any like um, pe uh, people, he uh, people who are like multilingual, right? Or people who, because most of the time, most of the time, I mean, I, I got, I, I just got, I have, I have to say it. Um, most of the time, like people who have, who know more than, who know a language uh, beyond English. Um, they tend to like have learned English as a second language, um, and and the response I get when asking this question is unanimous. Like, how did you first encounter English like as a language, right? Growing up, and most of the time it'll be like video games or like movies, not necessarily through like, you know, not necessarily through like a, a structured instruction or something, right? You know, just just osmosis, basically, and um, yeah, it, it's something like that. It's I guess like it's universal. I I find I find like you know people like they would like okay like just like what VA said like um he would get he would play Metal Gear Solid but have no idea what was being like talked about in in, in the codec nor like what was being like shown in the like glossary or story books or something it would just follow like the um the object the objective markers and then and you would like kind of piece together like what was happening right like okay like i do this in the, the objective marker i would do a particular task and then like when i perform said task the objective like um item on the top right gets crossed out Meaning, oh, okay. So whatever I do, this that's what that's what that sentence in, in English means. So that's how like people learned English, like um, when whenever video games are involved. And in some ways, that's kind of like 
a, an effective like way of learning the, the language because you are you are you are attaching you are you are connecting the action to the written word and no, nothing nothing makes nothing makes the the mind turn or like you know jiggle when it when it's actually you connecting the dots right as opposed to like someone like telling you what no 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 this is what that word means and this is what that sentence means like so uh it's good it's an effective way um did anyone remember the socom series in ps2 i i socom no socom 3 Oh, 2005. Yeah, for the PlayStation. Um, I have... No, I've not played this. I have played this, though. Delta Force. Series. For some reason, I played this game. Um, yeah, tactical Shooter. Yeah, I think this was my first tactical shooter, Delta Force. Oh god, just a cover just threw me back. <laughs> yeah, the U.S. Navy Seals. I yeah, I never played this, but yeah, no. Um, so for, for people who are unfamiliar with my content, um, yeah, I do tend to play some retro games. Oh my god, another retro gamer. <laughs> um, but the thing is, like. Yeah, um, uh, yeah, these are old, these are old, um, uh, and I'm not saying, like, Luke also plays some old games as well, mainly on the Nintendo DS, um, I'm not sure, is that, like, your old, is that, like, the oldest game you've played, um, Luke, um, the, Dra the Dragon Quest series, um, but yeah, I know, um, I, I I've I've never played this game, but it it seems like it it feels like it it, it looks like a game I would have played actually like if I like traveled back in time. Again, like I um I for some reason like Valorant or Apex or um for some I don't know I don't know whether it's just, I'm just being edgy or something, but um uh. I, I seem to like games that are tactical. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, where like there, there's some level of realism, I guess. I don't want to. I don't want to like clown on like Apex and Valorant players, but um, because you know I I I play Overwatch. You know, like I'd be a hypocrite if I was clown if I would say like those games are like no. But yeah, it, it's it's I just I just I don't know. I just like whenever I shoot gun, gun bullet needs to like you know, um, kill in one shot. Said you know, from from said bullet. You know, that's just my thing. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> just go ahead. It's a good game. In rare case of U.S. military making games, actually good. Oh really? The U.S. military made this game? What? Uh, plot development. Oh wait, maybe because like I I don't think this I don't think Zipper Interactive is like. Oh 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 oh. Literally, the United S the Navy was involved in this game. Okay, cool. I don't know. I don't know. Um, uh, I mean Pokemon games too. The original Drakwe, which I have on Switch now, originally released in 1986. Okay, okay, you got me beat there then. Um, ow. <laughs> That's creative. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. 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 <laughs> oh, God. Uh, wait, what? They made Mech Warrior 3 as well? <gasps> Sorry. Okay. Oh, my God. All right, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. <laughs> but, but yeah. Um, yeah, you got me beat there, Luke. Uh, I think the oldest game I've ever played, with, at least on stream, is um, Theme Hospital. And Theme Hospital was developed in 1997, so yeah. 
You're old, Luke. <laughs> uh, uh, but yeah, no, it's a. Uh, Oh, thank you to hydrate. Yay. Someone's cooking mackerel now. I really want mackerel because I can smell it. Oh, God. Oh. Ow. <laughs> That's a vending machine. Um. Um. All right. I know this is a bit stereotypical, Luke. Um. Wait, no, I don't think, I don't think, I don't think mackerel is like, is a component for this, but fish and chips. Fish and chips are like. Um. Uh, what are made made of? Uh. Haddock and pollock. I don't think I don't think mackerel is good for this. Fish and I I bought the drink machine for you. <laughs> I brought the uh, yeah, yeah, yeah so thank you yeah I mean usually you take the drink out of the machine first right she caught her haddock yeah, yeah, yeah. um yeah she's pulling out the receipts <laughs> yeah no it's um yeah, that's it you would use mackerel yeah mackerel is a very strong taste point not the sort of thing you fry yeah yeah, like the, I don't know about you guys, but uh, I I do love fish and chips. Although I can't finish those for some reason. Like it's a it's a full meal for me. Uh, because you like you, you know you have a little you salt a little, um, the fries right, the chips I guess because in in, in Britain fries are called chips for some reason. And um, and then you you squeeze a bit of lemon in the fish, and you're good. Oh. Oh, it doesn't matter how big the portion is. If it's fish and chips, I'll eat the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's 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 filling food. It's filling food. Um, but I've always wondered like if you can use like different kinds of fish, because I've only seen cod or haddock used. And, um, yeah, cod is, there's a lot of cod here from where, like, in my, in, you know, where I live. So, it's very cheap, um, over here. Um, uh, yeah, beige. Um, I personally always weird one around my pals playing fast pace shooter stuff like Apex. All my pal, pal, parkering is slightly like... <laughs> Do you mind crack while I'm slow at doing it? Like, ow, ow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I think I'm not sure if you. Uh, no, no. I, 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 I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not sure at some point if I will be able to do a 360. That's the most acrobatic I could do with like ac acrobatic stuff I could do with like first person shooters. Like, do a 360. I'm not sure how well Mako would fry. No, no, no. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not saying like you. I'm not. I'm not. I'm just. I'm just wondering if someone has ever done that before. I mean, probably someone has, or someone has. You know. You know. Uh, yeah. Exactly. Have done that before. Um. But I'm not gonna ruin a good thing. Um. But yeah. Uh. I guess for people who are like here, wondering where the hell's the Japanese. Um. Uh, there's no Japanese. You went to the wrong stream. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. I guess I really should. Um. So yeah, it's been it's been an hour just chatting. Uh, you know, but this is this is this is this is kind of like what I do. Um. Uh, I do, I do get invested in the games and the stuff I um I stream. Um, but. And I think this is kind of my way of kind of like you know what I just I just want to go like interact with my audience in real time. Like even now I don't have any motion sickness, but seeing people playing new Call of Duty.
game gave me sensory a sensory overload and a headache. Uh, yeah. Um. So. Uh, I play Euro Truck Simulator, two, and funny enough, I just found out. Um, and uh, Aunt Luke and Krim that um you could actually play Phasmophobia with the eye tracker. So you guys gotta say like I, I I play Euro Truck Simulator with the eye tracker. You know, like whenever like I move my head like this, or like shift my gaze like this. Um, the, um, the camera, uh, orients towards the direction of where you're looking or you're pointing your head at. So whenever I have to like, look, um, left and right in my cab, I don't have to like move like some, like any other peripheral in my setup. I just use my eyes and it will like gate point the camera at that direction, which is great. It adds to the realism. Like that's what, that's what you do when you drive. Uh, and I heard that like you can do the same thing in Phasmophobia. Like you can actually like use your eyes to like look around in Phasmophobia. But the the point I'm making here is that like yeah, um yeah um VRs and eye trackers in 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 a limited sense um they're if you're doing it for the first time it, it it's actually very headache inducing um. So, uh, yeah, be prepared if you're ever like planning on doing something um, like that. Like, like I don't, I don't think you. I've never met anyone who like first attempted to do VR or like the eye tracking thing and didn't come out of it with a headache. So, uh, people must eat more seafood. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's good for you. It's good for you. Based on protein, he's overrated. <laughs> Are we gonna are we gonna have are are we gonna have food takes today? Are we are we like, you know? By the way, uh, people who uh, people who use people who like uh, people who clown people who like uh, who make fun of American cheese, they don't know what they're missing. You know, I know American cheese is like the most processed, the most fake, the fakest cheese out there. But I stay, I stand by American cheese. Velveeta. <laughs> What's wrong with people making fun of plastic? <laughs> um, no, there's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong with people making fun of plastic. All I'm just saying, all I'm saying is that sometimes fake stuff, uh, sometimes fake stuff like American cheese is, you know, okay. It's just okay. <laughs> um, it is pretty filling though. I, I, I use Velveeta on my beef gyudon. So whatever, like, I'm not sure, like, if you've been, if you've been to like those stores, um, uh, I don't like cheese at all. So yeah, exactly. I know, I know. <laughs> uh, Luke's like you know. Nah, no. This is the... you're excused. You're excused in this like cheese talk. <laughs> um, no, I'm not sure. Like, if you guys ever been to like those Asian specialty stores, I'm not sure if if you if you live in Asia. I don't. I, this doesn't. This will like not make sense to you guys. But um, but if if you live outside of Asia, like. You would often like find these Asian specialty stores where like they would sell like goods from like, you know, Asia. Um, you know, I think here in North America, like uh, we have this thing called H Mart. Um, right. So we have H Mart here. Uh, so uh, it's, it's mostly Korean. But um, they do sell some Japanese stuff and some other, like, Asian other stuff. And um, I would buy, like, meals from this place every now and then. I think I got one, like, a few doors away. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I think, like, I think outside of Asia, like, these specialty stores um, are ubiquitous. Like, you will find, like, some of these, like, places, like, you know, probably even next door. Um... 
Um, here's the thing. Real American processed cheese is good as is. The thing is the one nowadays just full of additives and cheese flavoring and actual processed cheese. <laughs> Yeah, I know, V. I know, I know. I'm just, I'm just taking the piss out of like the cheese we have here. Um. Uh. <laughs> because it's the only things, it's the only stuff we could sometimes find in our grocery um aisles every, you know, now and then. Um, but yeah, no, I, I would like buy like set meals. I think, let me, let me look. Is there like beef cute on here? Uh. Oh, wait. Um, I guess they don't have it in their website. Because why would you, like... Why would you, like, <laughs> deliver beef gyudon piping hot? Right? Um, but yeah, I, I I buy, like, like those set meals. Those ready-made meals. And I... And what I do with the beef gyudon is that... um, I'll, I'll show you what the beef gyudon looks like. Um... Yeah, so this is basically it. Um, so it's basically um, beef and some other vegetables on top of a bed of rice. That's literally it. That's it. That's it. And um, what I typically do is that, is that I put some American cheese on top of this thing and then microwave it so that the cheese melts on top of the beef and all the vegetables. And then afterwards, I put some Tabasco sauce on top of like the uh, the mixture, and I eat it with with chopsticks. And I I, I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you. Oh, sorry. Um, uh, if you want to if you want to be extra fancy, um, sprinkle in some parsley. Uh, because back in Asia, all of them just are in traditional market. Yeah, 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 yeah. like it, <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna look really out of place if you have an if an Asian specialty market. In Asia, that's kind of like what, the... dude. Just just go just go to the market. Like legit, I can get brand A plain noodle for fifty k through, but then through the, just ten k. Yeah, yeah, it's just just yeah. Like you go to those like wet markets to get the the good prices. Meat, veg, and rice. The food, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Let's just, 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 yeah. Let's. Just... Oh, sorry. Ads. Um, run in. I'm sorry for the ads. Okay, ads are okay. So, so people who are like, um, do not have the ads or um, uh, what ads? <laughs> okay, yeah, I was gonna say like um, uh, Twitch for some reason likes to like f with me. Like sometimes, like they would they would say like, oh, you got ads running, but literally ninety percent of my viewers no ads. I'm like, what what what. Is it is this is this is this the is this like the the part in the stream where I like you know um look like look foolish to people like you know do I do I do I make a fool of, my, of myself here like uh but yeah no um yeah uh it's 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 it's, it's I I have to err inside of caution because like people might be having ads right now um so no, maybe a subset of people might be having some ads so um but yeah um barring that uh if you are if you're not if you don't have ads right now or are subbed in which case you do not have ads you know definitely do not have ads um i was thinking of doing a be right back screen uh, speaking of Ads, even in a rare case, I get one. I don't know why, but it's always French government. The <laughs> gouvernement du français is trying to tell you something. <laughs> Which ads are weird? Someone yesterday had ads starting soon. Stuck in his ads manager for his entire stream. Jesus Christ. Um... I that's 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 scary. Um yeah. Like I don't know, like that that seems to be like something like Yeah. No, I I 
I'm a loss for words. Like th that's something that I don't want to happen ever happen in my stream because like I don't know. I don't. Yeah, that's that's because you'd, you'd be you're, you're you're paranoid now. Like, are people like having ads right now <laughs> or not? Or are they just effing with me at this point? Oh god, that's yeah. Yeah, it's extra stress. Yeah. Next time I get those um, French stuff again, I'm probably gonna get the driver better police. But <laughs> yeah, like it's like treason, blasphemy. <laughs> oh, princess! Hey, welcome to stream. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. Um, y you know, I I think I'm still kind of like on topic. I have like Japanese beef gyudon. Uh, and uh, I'm taking up like half of my stream, so. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, like. Uh, but hopefully you're like you're yeah, um, you're well, you know, like um, you're enjoying your first week of December, you know, and um, if you're like just want to like chill, just chat. Yeah, this is it. You know, I I basically have prepared nothing. <laughs> um, sp speak the entire recipe of gyudon in Nihongo. I don't know. Okay, you know what? You know what? Just to salvage this part, just to salvage this. Um, I know, like, so, um, in Jisho, uh, okay, let me, um, uh, city mode, no, city mode. Um, let's take down Anki for a moment. And go for RTK. Um, onion. Yeah, that's a word for onion. Or kanji for onion. Um, and um, you love udon. Udon, udon. Um. Oh, thick noodles. Ah, yeah. You know what? Yeah, I don't. Okay, okay, okay. Um. Uh, show of hands here. Who I know, I I know people here have at some point have tried noodles. If you do not, if you have not had noodles, um, I got I get a question for you. A, which planet um did you come from? Right, like, uh, maybe another question. Two, um, can you like teach us space travel, right? Um, because I don't think the muskrat's gonna be like helping out here. Um, <laughs> these things, like, I think everyone at this point has have had noodles before, but um, I've always had like, I always wondered like, you know, do people prefer thick versus thin noodles? Like, you know, like do people have a preference, like, because I typically like order my noodles thick. It's just me, that's just me. Um, I don't think udon has anything to do with udon. No, 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 I don't, I don't know. It's a totally different, like, food item now. Um, don is just bowl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don is just bowl. Simple as that. Um, I practically exist on cheap Iceland noodles at the moment. <laughs> Wait, what? Hey, Iceland noodles? Is that, is that a, is that a brand? Iceland noodles? <laughs> It actually exists. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, this this looks good. This looks good. I'm not I'm not just I just because it's cheap doesn't mean it's not good, right? Uh thick noodles. Okay. Rain Rain loves uh, Princess loves thick noodles. Um So your most consists of wheat and salt then? <laughs> I mean no, it's 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 more in like I guess like I kinda like the I like I like chewing on stuff. I think maybe maybe I don't know. No particular preference here. No Iceland is a shop. Oh okay. See the ones that are forty pence a pack. Forty pence a pack. That's that's cheap. Um. Yeah. Iceland is a shop. Anyway, well, I'm not gonna look at. Look, but. Buy frozen Greg stuff in Iceland. Okay. Oh, it's like a it's like a grocery store, eh? 
Okay. I kind of like the H-Mart thing I was just talking about. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. I've never been to the north of England, so. I, so I've never, like, actually, like, seen an Iceland store. I'm not sure whether, like, Iceland is just a northern England kind of thing. Um, the thick ones have more substance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, so, uh, okay, so, good thing they showed it here. Um, so, thick noodles. I don't know about you guys. So, um. One 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 particular food item I order a lot um, is Chinese um, hand pulled beef noodles. I don't know about you guys. I don't know about you guys, but this is this is this is the this is this is this is this is gonna like like um, this is what I usually like get in most Chinese places, N noodle places. Um, and they usually like use thick noodles. Um, the thick noodles actually soak up the broth. Um, so thin noodles basically like because of the broth, the noodles just like evaporate. They just they just like they just melt, right? Whilst thick noodles keep their consistency, but they soak in the broth. So whenever I like eat the noodles, they already taste like beef, which is great. It's just mostly frozen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. mostly frozen goods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, we slap it in the microwave like a TV dinner, right? So <laughs> I, 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 I used to live like that, but now like I actually cook. So Ooh, that looks good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So yeah, um, by the way, um, um, not because it's getting colder, right? This this is your next best friend, um, other than your radiator. <laughs> uh, uh, nothing warms you up better, like more than like um, the a hot pot of noodles, like especially with like six, like stuff like this, like with beef and like broth and stuff. Like this is my favorite food in the winter, like hot noodles. Uh, radiator cat. No, no, no. I, 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 I'm, I'm making reference to Luke. Like, for some reason, British people use radiators to heat their homes. It's crazy. I know. I know. Like, um, I'm not entirely sure why. Like, they have yet to like install centralized heating in their houses. <laughs> um, down here, I could get a carton box of Indomie for around seventy-eight US dollars. Yeah, 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 Indomie. Uh, we have that here as well. Um, Indomie. Uh... Yeah, th these noodles. I don't. I don't know. Um, uh, if in Europe they have this, but here in North America we do. Um, you can also dry your clothes and radiators. True, true, true. Uh, I think I've I've spent, I've spent like maybe like sometimes in motels to know this um because some mo because motels here in north america i don't think especially the old ones um they don't have centralized heating so they they use radiators and uh yeah you could dry your clothes on them my old place actually had radiators no 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 um for some yeah i don't know why like the uk still like use radiators even though like they're not the most efficient way of like spreading around the heat i know va this is not gonna apply to you right this discussion because it's already hot enough as it is over there <laughs> um but uh yeah it's a big thing here if ever like you like happen to be in this neck of the woods right um you'll 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 we always talk about how cold like we are like you know it's it's almost like small talk right like oh yeah yeah talk about the weather eh like you know like the cold <laughs> you know like getting a bit cold eh chilly um but yeah it's yeah it's it's a never-ending debate uh uk houses are designed to keep hit it, heat in so radiators are usually enough yeah like okay good good that's good insulation's good um uh, by the way in japan they do not have insulation so if, if ever you are in japan and you are like planning on like staying there for like an over the winter um uh, do dress warmly 
in your bed because they do not have insulation like i i i i made the fatal mistake of like sleeping in shorts and shirts in in, in shorts and a shirt uh in japan in winter uh because it's what i usually wear when i go to go to bed and um yeah it's i i i literally got a, a cold after that night so uh not look out or warm them for after a bath yeah yeah that's good that's good yeah you can use that for for radiators i once dry my jack in the baking oven <laughs> baking batch for bakery just throw so <laughs> <laughs> really you can do that in a baking oven i don't i don't know whether i want to do that you should just use a dryer it's three degrees right now it's very warm yeah to be honest yeah you're right you're right I, here i am complaining about like the cold when like literally like um luke here um it's getting snowed in so uh you fellas with four seasons maybe i want to do deal with yeah 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 like the like the days get shorter around winter time so people get these like get this like seasonal depression where like um around the summer around spring or fall the sun sets around between five and six in the afternoon but uh, come winter time this um the sun sets around two to three p.m um which like really like messes up your like your consciousness um uh, because like you know um and and princess is like very like passionate about this you know like with people eating vitamin d and everything um yeah, like when when your brain knows that it's two p.m. and yet your eyes can see that it's like getting dark, it kind of depresses you. I, I'm I'm speaking facts, by the way. Generally, might not be going to lectures tomorrow because outside the trap. Yeah, let's yeah, yeah, no. know. It's setting around five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like. I mean, I, I probably am exaggerating a bit, but that's kind of like how things are here in cold places. Um, the thing is, our body, at least our ancestry body, followed the sun. Yeah. This best invention, invention, best by the invention of the time watch. True, true, true. Yeah. Like, like, like our like prehistoric selves, right? You never, it's never like heard of a watch. Yeah, we just typically. T Whole time based like on the sun's out right so it's, but, it, but it is take vitamin d all of <laughs> yeah i i don't i don't think va needs to like worry about that he gets he has all the sun in the world <laughs> not everything just follow the watch said reality of situation lights yeah but yeah, no. Um, that's one other thing. Um, I will I will tell you guys for people who are living in cold countries, do take the vitamin D, right? Not sexual, just you know, it's an actual clinical thing. Um, take the vitamin D. Um, go out. Um, you know it. You know to get that sun, and if you have to go out, do bundle up. You know, like wear your long johns. Wear, you no, know, two undershirts, I guess. Um. A thick, a thick coat with lots of fluff inside. Don't be though. It's this is not the time to be fashion conscious, right? Um, uh, you know, like because you're not gonna have a good time outside if you're like shivering. Let me tell you this, like, uh, <laughs> uh, sure, sure. even both sees the sun is just the same. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if it's gonna be warm, it's gonna be rainy. Yep, 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 yep. Um uh, that's what I um envy. Uh you know, you don't have to worry about like you don't have to worry about um the weather, basically. Yeah. Like here, it it's almost like a ritual. Whenever I wake up, I check my phone and to see whether like Oh, is it too cold to like, you know, um, uh, to the point that I have to like wear this many, this many layers or, oh, is it not that cold that I can like 
<laughs> that I can like uh, reduce the amount of layers I have to wear. That's li it's that's literally like the I'm just telling you like the God's honest truth of like what's ha what's 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 happening here. So uh, it's super important for people with darker skin to take vitamin D as well. True, 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 true. Um, I think it has to do with the fact that I think like um because of the melanin um present in the skin um in, in their skin the the sun sunlight has trouble like penetrating that particular part of your like body right so you're not getting enough vitamin d because the sun ain't penetrating you by the way not sexual um i um i it's it's the English language is like just replete with lots of double entendres. So I I I don't. Uh, the last dry season is rough. Entire August to mid September is just dry or warm. And make everything sticky. Yeah, that's one thing. I that um, tropical countries is like no. It's, it's I I'm kind of grateful that I kind of like don't live in that part. Because the humidity, oh my god, um, it's a, it's that kind of humidity where literally like your fingertips, um, are always oily and sticky, and it's the worst feeling ever. Like um, like like everything you touch, you feel disgusting, basically. Um. Right, right, princess. I think I think you know. I think you know what I'm. I think you know what I'm talking about. Um, it's like it's like this. It's like you're in a shower, like in the, like all the time, but not necessarily like you're you're conscious of the shower. It's just that you you're being misted. I think. Yeah, yeah. That's just what I'm talking. I think that I think that's what that's what it feels like. You're like constantly being misted. I know about that though. Uh, I think it's like more like four season bond, but over compensating. <laughs> true, true. Maybe, maybe, we're, maybe we're just more sensitive to that. Um, I guess. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah, it's sticky, but it ain't that bad. Yeah, I think I think we just we're just babied <laughs> uh, with the uh, the humidity issue, which I well I will still stand. It's still an issue. You barely get four seasons. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Princess, princess. I know we. I know we live close um, together, but um, Southern Ontario, like, do, does tend to get hot. Princess, you know, like, we do get heat waves, like, spring and fall are so short. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Um. That's actually true. Yeah, it's either it's either a long summer or a long winter. Yeah, no, it's it's pain. It's pain. <laughs> it's, it's, that's that's why we stay. That's why we stay indoors most of the time. <laughs> you know, um, and entertaining people from around the world. You know, I'm like a clown. Sometimes I feel like a clown. Um, but uh, yeah, no, it's uh it's weather's changing um you know um uh, and hopefully you guys are like um you know uh, responding to those changes uh i know va has already like um said his piece about you know like the, the weather changing isn't necessarily going to affect him um either way but for people who do do um, respond to those changes accordingly because it's it's sometimes sometimes it's a matter of life or death. To be honest. Yeah, I grew up where you live. Remember? Yeah, 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 princess. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Last time my friend goes to the UK in late winter, ain't that ain't that cold? They just do the angle and dive with the snow thing, it, but then they just show symptoms. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like, um. Here, here in my in, in, in Princess and I's like location, if you do not bundle up at a cold at a cold day in a cold day, um, you might die. 
This is this is this is not. I'm not joking. I'm not joking. Um, the wind chill here in a cold day goes for like maybe like negative thirty ish something. Um, you will die. You will die from like <laughs> that. Um, a hydrate. I'll take it a hydrate princess. Even though they under multiple layers of winter coats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but you have to bundle up. I have a deep humidifier running 24 7 the house I'm in. Good, good, Luke. Gotta. I mean, I, I do say in some of my streams, you gotta you gotta stay sweaty, right? I'm not saying like you have to be like sweaty physically. I'm just saying you gotta be sweaty. Like, you know, good at what you do. It's a, it's a, it's a form of speech, but. Um. Yeah, no, it's um, it's very true. It's very true. Um, that's why, like, if I if 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 I have any like people like in chat right now who are living in cold countries, uh, and for some reason has forgotten how to operate in, you know, in a climate in their in their particular climates, like, do take the opportunity to like um, reevaluate what you were what you're doing and actually like bundle up, and also like plan your routes. Um, if ever like you need to head to the grocery store or go off to an errand or something, uh, make sure to like take the shortest route um, to get there, you know, that way, like, you know, you're not subjected to, ele to the elements outside for an extended period of time. Speaking of winter and the cold, how does snow even form exactly? Because some region down here just get real cold below zero. No snow, but there's just straight ice cubes whether formed or fell off the sky. Yeah, yeah. That's basically that's basically it, um, VA. Um Snow this is just magically like pop out your face, right? Like, um Although like in in cold countries, like um uh, whenever you breathe, um uh, a, a mist forms like uh, in front of you, so it's just it's just kind of nice. Um, but snow just generally falls down. They form um, very high up in the clouds, and then they just fall down. That's it. That's it. But it's fluffy at least, not Starbucks ice cube dense. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, one thing that um. If, if ever, like, you you come to visit, like, you know, a cold country, and it's snowing, um, do, do go out. Do go out if it's snowing. Um, and there's a reason for this. Um, if it's cold outside, and it's not snowing, do not leave your house. But if it's snowing outside and it's cold, do go out. There's a reason for this. And that's because like the snow actually like acts as an insulator. It actually like it, it's basically like the water vapor. Um and turned into like snow. Which is water is like the conductor of temperature. And because it's it has it has like assumed a solid shape, that means like the cold has actually like dissipated. So it's actually cold it's actually warmer if snow's falling. As opposed to like there, if, if there's no snow. Right, snow is a really good insulator. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's a reason why like people build like igloos, right? Or build snow shelters out of snow. <laughs> because it's actually it actually insulates you. Um gotta know it just in case we get a revenge on the Dutch. <laughs> Any Dutch viewers in the chat? Any people from Holland? Any people from Amsterdam in chat? Um, if so, uh, you know, uh, ever been to your country? I heard that that's, they have, you guys have very good public transportation. Um, <laughs> but, um, you know, I just try not to like, um, <laughs> uh, anger our friend here, uh, VA. Uh, my friends built an igloo in their lawn once. Oh, how fun. I never did that. I should I should have like be more act I should be more active, um, outdoors. But then again, I'm a homebody. But yeah, no, that's 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 one that's that's one tip for people who has not experienced like cold weather, cold countries. Um, um falling snow is a, a good indicator that you know it's warm outside. Like you can actually like go out. 
and not and not worry about getting fr frostbitten or something. Um, uni was a hell of a time. Oh yeah. Nah, oh, man. I wish I was more active in uni. I don't. I have no beef with the Dutch people. My late grandpa got saved by the last war. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah like. <laughs> we, we, I, I think, I think, I think, I speak for all of us when I think all that's like long gone. That's long past, right? You know, we, we're here to just have fun. We're just here to like love each other, you know. And that's the spirit of the holidays, right? Like, uh, we come to take stock of like, you know, like the people that we've been, we've met, people we've like cried, we people like we've like shared laughs with you know it's the end of the month it's end of the year right now sorry and um you know just be thankful be grateful and like you know just spread love i'll never forget <laughs> princess princess um i uh, kind of have to read the room a bit <laughs> um <laughs> oh god i i feel like i've always played peacemaker <laughs> I'm aware. Yeah, okay. Well, it's a time and place, right? Well, it's funny. <laughs> That's the thing, though. Look, I... <laughs> I, 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 it's, it's, <laughs> no, but I, but I, but I think Luke's aware. I think Luke's aware of, like, the British Empire, right? And all of the stuff they've done over the over their world tour, right? So, but it's funny since he's technically a soldier back then, since he's at the stature that plus he's a teenager. So, after brand image, offer bread. Oh, is, is this like a. I'm not entirely familiar with like Indonesian history, but um, I'm not sure like if the Dutch were still like a big thing, um, you know, post World War II or something. I don't know. Oh, we can head fast, Robo. Ow! Jesus Christ. Look at the stream, look at the stream. Um Ow, ow. Is this is Pavlov Pavlovian like treatment all over you? Um you can never tell when I'm joking and Well you can never really tell because like Um I'm just seeing your chat right there. I'm just seeing some text shown on my face and I'm like I, and again, a little confession from me, but I'm a I'm a half empty kind of person. Um, love you, princess. Smile. That was a heart. <laughs> hey, Robo. Yeah, we love princess here. We love princess. Oh, oh, yeah. You know what? Let's give a shout out to princess. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Like. She also like does the chill stuff. She does the. Um, she does the um. You know the the puzzle games. She um she also likes to talk with chat. So if if you guys just want to talk to someone whenever, and she's online, go to her streams and just talk whatever. Like she would like listen. Like and I'm not, I'm not joking. Like she would like like just if you want to talk about like you know like you know um indomie like stir fry noodles. Uh, she she would like you know she would entertain you. <laughs> um. He moved on beyond it to be honest, but I don't know why the Dutch government like it. Stuart Woodley is great at singing the campfire song. Oh god, yeah. Um so yesterday, like uh Robo and I did a test stream, so a karaoke stream, so yeah. Go 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 if you wanna catch us like literally like wasting time, go go check out Robo's VOD there. Uh done bad. Can't rub me like you've done bad. Please forgive me. You know, already, let's go since the war is over. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I guess there's like this just overall sense of like guilt in Western countries, I think. But but do understand that it's kind of like a, a thing. Uh, Thank you, Stuart. It's a fantastic endorsement. Welcome to Black Mesa Research Facility. Now piss off. <laughs> She's BA complete. Wow. <laughs> But yeah, no, it's it's uh yeah, that's where like I kind of took my inspiration from. Uh, 
Yeah, no, no, no. Uh, I think that's what I've come to like learn about Princess. It's like like she, like she's a uh, um she does this just so like she could like talk with people. No, so uh, go 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 check her out. Um, I do this because I also like like to talk to people, but also I like to show people the kinds of games I want to play, right? And you know, and play with other people like in terms of the games like they play. So. Um, give out unwarranted life advice. Um, sorry. Um, how residence cascade could be prevented. <laughs> Gordon doesn't need to hear all of this. He's a highly trained professional. If 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 people listen to Gordon, we wouldn't have the residence cascade. Even though like that could be a problem because Gordon never talks. Yeah. Um, I love meeting people. Right. Yeah. True. 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 Ruins her start talking eight hours past. Easy. Yeah, that's what. Okay, uh, uh, all right. You know, you know what? I'm gonna go shout out Robo as well because um, uh, we are talking about Robo now. Uh, uh, but yeah, they're also the same. There's also they. He is also in the same category. Um, if you want to derail, actually, I'm, I'm getting derailed right now. Like, I'm actually in the same category as well. Um, if you want to derail someone's stream by talking about random stuff he is another person to talk to like you know so he's streaming and you just want to talk about a, some random thing go check him out and, and then just talk whatever like yeah he, he is like incapable of of getting with a program right like <laughs> uh though maybe left for d show, show sometime will be fun yeah, yeah, yeah like i i okay like left for dead is like like my my um my comfort game sometimes um yeah I, I'd be down to play Left 4 Dead with you uh, VA. Uh, best part of streaming is community gather. True, 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 true. Yeah, you know I. It's just just. I I don't know like people will just like, jump into the stream, and I'll be playing like, The Sopranos, and I'll be like. Why are you here? Like I'm, I'm literally playing like a video, uh, a movie tie-in video game of a. Uh... Wait, is the Sopranos released? Um. Hey, don't. Um. The Sopranos. Um, was released in. In 1999, and they have a video game. By the way, this I'm playing this right now. It was released in 2006. Um, and yeah, and I'm wondering, like, uh, one, um, it's good you have taste in, in TV shows, and two, um, why do you have bad taste in, like, video games? Um, but yeah, no, it's, it's like, the, but, for, but for some reason, like, they, they still, like, tune in, and you like, just, just chat, and, like, just interact with, like, the stream. It's great. I love it. Um. Wait, you haven't given an award? Yeah, I know. I keep getting sidetracked. Sorry. <laughs> a community award. I'm waiting for a verdict. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that. Yeah. Oh, no. Sorry. Robo needs bad advice. Quick. Okay, okay, okay. Um, Bad advice. Bad advice. No, I'm giving I'm giving actual good advice. No, 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 no. I'm not going to give out bad advice. Um. So, you know what? We were talking about the weather. So let's, let's let's talk about like let's give you a a, a, a weather advice. Um, if you drive a car, which most likely I think I already know that Robo actually drives a car. By the way, um, if you but this is I, I'm saying this because like you know it probably can affect it probably could affect you right. Um. Oh wait, no, I know Princess can't drive a car. And he won't drive a car neither. Um, and Luke doesn't know how to drive, and VA. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. No. But you know what? I'm just. I'm just. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna do. I'm just gonna do this. I'm just gonna do this. Um. Um. If you drive a car and it's winter time, it's snowing, right? Um. Uh, get one of those. Um. Those windshield visors, that you can put on top of like the windshield. Or yeah, yeah, and and the, those windows, window covers as well. Um, and also get one of those like um, tire covers. And then you know for for extra measure, if you're like really like 
um, OCD about this, get those like side mirror covers as well. You'll thank me for this later because like once it snows and you have those covers engaged, um, you don't have to like dig your, you don't have to like scrape off the snow off like like those window, those those windshields and those windows. <laughs> Uh, plug in your car. Yeah, 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 you can plug in your car. Yeah, 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 because you need to heat up the engine. Um, I almost thought you're gonna say car engine stove. No, 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 no. I don't. We don't, we don't have that. Sort of. I wish there was so you could cook on the go. But imagine if those window covers stick to your glass windshield due to it and break the glass. Well, that's because like you live in a. If if you okay, you know what? You know what? Yeah. Okay. That that's 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 life advice that could probably backfire. Okay. But if if you if, if you actually live in if you live in a country that's not not as humid, then this this will work. <laughs> um. But yeah. Um. Uh, that's why like. When when I, when I when I thought of this advice and I'm like, hang on. Um, Robo probably like lives in a somewhat humid country and. Princess, like, you know, can't drive because of reasons. And Luke can't drive because of good reasons as well. Uh, he's not allowed to. Uh, and uh, VA, um, it doesn't snow where he where he lives. So, yeah, I don't think for any for anyone out there who I have not, like, um, listed out there, um, probably this may, like, you know, you might, you might this, this is actually good advice. If not, I just wasted my time. I just wasted everyone's time. Um... <laughs> uh no, I was just negative 14 Celsius at 3 a.m. this morning. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's getting cold. It's getting cold. So bundle up, bundle up. And uh yeah. Also, like, yeah, take care of your car. If ever like you own a car. Because yeah, um that also needs taken care of. Um Yeah, 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 yeah. You'll come to realize, um people who are unaware, um, the weather here in North America is weird. Just weird. Um, you would think like you know, oh, it's just you know, it's cold in there, you know. But no, it's 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 it's. Um, we invented like small talk because of that. I feel. Um, you know how like in outside of North America, like small talk isn't the thing. Like in Asia, you don't do small talk. And in Europe, you don't do neither. Um, like if if you if you engage in small talk with people outside of North America, they would think like you're crazy. Um, I think the reason we invented small talk here in North America is the fact that like, uh, it's a way for us to in, to like talk about the weather. I think I think. I kid you not, German and Soviet manuals do heat, heat up engine in cold conditions, dig hole to fit entire tank, start to bonfire, cook your breakfast. I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I believe that. I believe that. Yeah, as, as, said, as I said before, I think... I think... Um, I, snow is a good insulator. So you might want to, like, cover up your tank with snow. Yeah. Robot advice. Cold weather makes your engine battery drain faster. So just... Make sure it's charged and repair. Put a blanket in your car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Car, bl car blankets are a thing. Car blankets are a thing. <laughs> uh, so yeah, do that. Uh, well, that depends on the U UK. I think everyone confuses the UK with purely the South. Friendly small talk is common in, your in Yorkshire, at least. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think there was this, I think there was this like um skit. Yeah, I'm gonna show I'm gonna show that skit. That's fine. Um northerner visits london yeah this thing all right let me um yeah if you're if you already like haven't figured it out already i'm kind of i'm kind of like friendly to british people <laughs> uh, all right this is it <laughs> what are you doing? A northerner has been accused of terrorizing London by walking around saying hello. <laughs> oh, God. Generic northerner Stephen Malley left Londoners traumatized by his attempts to interact with them in a friendly, cheerful manner. Here's Nathan with more. 
Malley arrived here at Oxford Circus at 9.32 this morning. He had already said hello to several people en route from King's Cross Station, leaving worried commuters unsure why a man they did not know was talking to them. <laughs> he made direct eye contact uh, and then said, Morning. First I thought, well, is this just a statement? Because, I mean, it was the morning, but no, something in his tone suggested this was a greeting. Mally was apprehended by London police who were forced to let him go, as friendliness to strangers is not a crime until next year. <laughs> Outside the station, Mally gave a statement. <laughs> Where I come from, it's OK to greet strangers or comment to them about the weather. <laughs> I did not know the customs of London, and I apologise if I offended anyone. I did not mean to be happy. <laughs> I'm going back on the train now. And Nathan, what should Londoners do if approached by a northerner? Headphones on, head down, and avoid eye contact. <laughs> they are generally friendly, but they will headbutt if cornered. Yeah, so that that's that's how I know like um Luke speaks the truth when it comes to like the northerner southerner divide, which I guess like okay, I, I hang on, quick, give me a quick give me a quick minute here. I'll I'll, I'll get I'll get to you guys in chat. Um uh yeah. Uh let me uh give a quick shout out to Luke. No, not only is he my mod, but he's also a great friend, great friend. And yeah, he will talk about he also he's also in the same category. Like he will I know he's playing Pokemon black and white version too, but I I have a sneaking suspicion that um he puts the he puts that game on the background and he actually like because I think it's almost robotic in terms of how he plays these he's video uh, his video games. He actually like just want to talk to people. <laughs> so, so, um, yeah. Uh, just chatting at this point. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Um, uh, we're gonna talk about Cornwall. Why do we gonna talk about Cornwall, VA? There is a Cornwall here in Southern Ontario. Um, so the community of stewards advice I give stewards advice is useless. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, Rob, Rob, uh, for people who are unfamiliar, uh, Robo was the one who gave me the idea of like of this channel redemption of like giving out unwarranted life advice. So thank you, Robo. Uh, yeah, this must be it's, it's unwarranted. It's unwarranted. Yeah, exactly. I, I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not giving out false advertising here. Um, I wonder why European American built homes out of mostly board and paper. You guys out of bricks or something? I don't know that question. I don't know the answer to that question. I'm uh, let, 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 if if you guys happen to know in chat, like do, 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 do like um help me out here, right? It's kind of it's very accurate, Luke. Like uh, because I've I've been to London and um yeah, people are cold there. Oh God, um. British, not 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 London, Ontario, but <laughs> I, I, um, funny enough, no, I I've been to both Londons. Um, I've been to like fake London, i.e. London, Ontario, and real London, as in London, UK. So um, just 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 a little clarification there. Um, because I, I guess Princess is here, so um, I kind of I kind of make need to make that clarification. <laughs> um, come on, Princess, like uh, we all know, we all know the whole London thing. Um. Uh, British humor is best you. Well, your house is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. Well, that's good, uh, Robo. Like, your dad's house is brick. <laughs> Tornado proof, I think. Um, British humor is best humor. I know, right? I, I, I really love, like, what Luke Luke's gang puts out there. Um, in front of RPG. Okay, okay. London residents confirmed <laughs> SCP 096. I never played SCP before. I. I that's could be that could be like a horror game I could like pick up, eh? It's mostly just chatting at this point. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, he, he like like Luke likes to like chat with like his viewers, so yeah, go go check him out. Go check him out. Uh most UK houses are brick as far as I'm aware. True, 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 true. Uh 
I stayed in Cambridge um, when I was in the UK. So yeah, I know what it's like um, to live in a house in the UK. Um, it's brick, radiators. Um, kind of cozy, actually. Yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> Free Canadians and America's making same city town for no reason. True, true, true. Um, funny enough. Um, um, when when Luke when Luke and I were like talking like off stream about like stuff like you know just normal like UK stuff like where where he's been and stuff like that he would like put out name places and I'll be like oh um there is such a place with that name here as well um I think he's talking about his place <laughs> fake London <laughs> your excuse <laughs> oh I just got lethal company. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think you've explained to me like um, uh, how that game works. I think it's like not. F it's more like phasmophobia. Um, you go in, you um, you grab stuff, you get out, and you sell stuff. I think, and there's like some challenge that revolves uh around that mecha that me that mechanic. So. People from the states are like London. <laughs> we thought it made up. Well, London, Ontario, probably yeah. But London, UK. I think everyone knows what London, UK is. London, Ontario. Like even even people from around here think that it's it isn't real. Like I think it's just like a. It's like it's it's like it's like a it's like a, it's like a mirage, like in the distance. Like I. Don't... <laughs> As we all know, London. So that's a. <laughs> I mean, maybe, maybe you know, people talk funny and stuff. But then again, like people like to think like we in Southern Ontario talk fun, talk funny. So I guess I used to live in fake Windsor then. No, 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 because Windsor is just like its own thing, right? Like there's no, there's no, I, I hope I'm, I'm thinking that there's, there is no Windsor UK. That's that we were original there, princess. So there's no fake Windsor. There's just there is just Windsor. Um, so Windsor is also fan. I thought it's romantic. Now there is there is a, there is a Windsor. Oh God! <laughs> All right, there is fake. Okay, fake Windsor it is then. Um, we roast Brits way too too much. God. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like that's 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 what the the British are very good at banter. So. I I I I wish it was I I I I I um I study the British, like you know like how can we be better at bantering like them right you know there there is there is okay there is yeah there is an actual Windsor UK okay so yeah no um we live in a fake world princess uh it's 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 horrible. We're probably fake as well. Like you know, we don't we don't exist. <laughs> uh, Stuart community teaches Stuart. Yeah, no, it's a give and take relationship, right? I still see like if my BGM slightly low. Can't hear a BGM. Um, it's a it's a give or take relationship. Um, you know, I teach you, I give you, um excellent life advice like life-saving life advice you know uh, financially sound life advice uh, relationship saving life advice and then I get something in return right so <laughs> whether it's your your attention your time which is by the way all I need you know nothing at all but no nothing what I need but no I, I totally appreciate you guys like spending like your time like you're, I, I believe like you're the time is more important than the money right <laughs> like I, I have no idea why you're you guys are like here right now <laughs> like, spending time here like you're like you could be out there like doing something productive with your life you know like learning a skill like Japanese which I'm like neglecting right now um or like cooking or like you know taking care of your family and friends but here you are like wasting time like with Stuart so I don't know <laughs> so, uh, uh... You haven't heard of Windsor? No, I know what Windsor Castle. But I was like, I was like, 
Winds like a town, Windsor town, like you know, like a town, city of Windsor, UK, or a town or a village, Windsor, UK, right? So, you know, that, 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 that's what was like I was worried about. Um, but still, Tuesday calling how to plan for spices for future. <laughs> you know what? You know what? Um, um, uh, I'm not sure if Yuki's still here. Yuki, I'm not sure if you're still here. Um, but we have a mutual friend who has the same issue with the British. <laughs> Um, oh, my time. Let's do it with time. Oh, God, yeah. Um, yeah, Robo has way too much time in his hands. Um, uh, VSR, yeah, that's why you, yeah, I mean, you know what? That's the thing, yeah. Um, are you, Yuki's and I's mutual friend, like, um, he has the same issue with the British, uh, <laughs> as well as Princess, I guess, at this point. Ain't Windsor Castle named after a royal family household name? So at the royal family, no, I'm aware, I'm aware, I'm aware that, um, I'm aware that their surname's Windsor. I'm just not familiar whether that there's an actual place called Windsor, like, a, like an incorporated township or something or a city. Like I could name my, I could name my house, a la casa Stewart, but that doesn't mean that there's a city named Stewart, right? So, that, that's my logic. Sorry, I'm not sure if like if my logic is like, um, um. Reaching out to you guys. <laughs> uh, where they swap the entire island in Eastern Indonesia or in New York. They plant a bunch of and never use. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. That's it. That sounds, you know. And you know what? They, were, they the British would probably like think like you know. Oh, it's we just did it for the laughs, you know. We were just being cheeky, you know. We're cheeky lads, you know. Like that, that's that's what they do. That's what they do. It's in there. It's in. I, I I regret to inform you. Like that's kind of like, that's kind of like what they do. So, <laughs> hey, at least at least like you know you got some nutmeg now. Um. By the way, what what do you use nutmeg for? I have no idea. Do, do, I think I think you use nutmeg for like those pump pumpkin spice lattes, right? I'm not sure. Do they use nutmeg in those things? I don't know. <laughs> By the way, I I am a very basic white girl when it comes to my coffee. Like I I I also like love pumpkin spice lattes. Um, so um, yeah, uh, I love it. I love it. You know, and I also have the I also have the taste of like yeah, the basic white girl. Yeah, I love Taylor Swift. I love Carly Rae Jepsen. Um, um, uh, yeah, I, I I love their music. I don't know. I don't know. And Robo is noble blood. What do you mean you're noble blood? I mean, you know what? Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah, actually, yeah, yeah. You did explain like your family. There is a country in a town named Stuart. And, and you know what? I'm gonna. You know what? I'm just gonna like shut up and not talk. About... <laughs> That's fair. Okay. The the logic. Okay. Is a lot of things. Nutmeg. You saying? Uh, I don't know. No one really like advertises the nutmeg, right? So. I mean, I go to the grocery store. I don't. I don't. I don't even think we 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 carry nutmeg in grocery stores, right? I think yeah, you have to find them in like specialty stores or something. At least South and Southeast Asians use spices more often. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm not. No, no. Hell, like uh, I um, I really need to get my spice game going because I I put salt and pepper in everything, like S and P, right? S and P, right? choice for me right so um and uh yeah um uh that's that's this pro this problem <laughs> uh so much spice in your food yeah um and, oh sorry uh, oh god no, no no we're good i just saw like my ads meter pop up um uh, so, yeah i i uh, a little quick drink I, uh, no, actually, I, I do enjoy some spices, right? My, my, again, like, my favorite, like, um, my, my favorite, like, uh, cheap filling thing to eat is, um, uh, I, I just showed it before, but now I'll show it again because I love it, right? Is, is Indomie, right? Uh, 
Indomie is um, something that is from VA's side of um, the world, right? I, I actually buy these. I buy the five packs. Um, yes, yeah, so I think there's there's sambang, there's uh, soy sauce, uh, uh, there is um, onions, I think, a uh, garlic, bawang. No, no, oh, that's not. I think it's bawang, right? I, I mean, it's, it's, it had a little writing in the flavoring packets. Um, but yeah, I, I buy these. Now I'm biryani. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Um, hey, you know what? Food takes, man. Food takes. Well, we're, we're here to, like, elevate the, the palates of everyone. Actually, you know what? I hate steak snobs. <laughs> they're seasoned their meat because want to taste the beef. Yeah, you like your taste of protein iron by itself. Yeah. Um. There are people like that. Yeah. Um. So there are steak houses where, like, um, you can actually like no, no, most steak, no, all steak houses do this. Um. Of course, you have that whole like option, right? Do you want your Do you want your steak rare, medium, well done, medium well done, medium rare, right? Um, and also like, uh, but I think most steakhouses do not do not um uh, carry spices beyond black pepper. I would say that, yeah. So you can't have like all those other like spicy other spices, right? So. Anyone who likes blue steak is just <laughs> I like my meat cooked. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, like people who like like their steak rare are cannibals, right? I, I, I think I think I think you know I'm not, I'm not I'm not saying like the cannibals isn't like, you know, like they want their they they eat cows alive. They actually eat people, you know. Like they 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 they, they People who like their steak rare, they actually kidnap people and eat them. I, I think I think I think that's a thing. I think that's I I firmly believe that's a thing. <laughs> um, or coffee stops and alcoholic. You can have two hour rants instead of just take a glass. <laughs> take a glass of water. Um, yeah, I, funny. Enough, I do actually have a friend who is like a coffee good like. Dude, um. Oh wait, what? Oh, ads are probably good. Oh, sorry, ads. Sorry, uh, ads are on the way. Sorry for the ads. Um. Yeah. If, again, I I really got I really gotta go invest in a beer right back screen. Like um, especially for like moments like this where like I do the three hour. Oh, sorry, three hour, three minute. Th heaven forbid, three hour ads. Um. Um. Uh, three minute ads. I gotta go like at least. Have something to show for it, right? Um, you know what? Let's, uh, just, just this little like word thing. Yeah, like um, steak. Uh, types rare steak steak charts steak charts. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Look at this. Look at this. Um. You know what? Let's just open this. Oh, wait, wait. It doesn't have like that good. Ah, there it is. Um, taking beef with salmonella. Yeah, beef doesn't get beef doesn't get salmonella. True, but it's taking chances. <laughs> yeah, 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 like a. It, it's the same thing with like sushi, right? My 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 um, I, I I like I like sushi. I like sashimi, but you are you are playing Russian roulette. Basically, when you're having raw fish, um, so yeah. But yeah, for people who are not who don't have ads, um, or for some reason like or or or, or a sub, yeah, like this is kind of like what I'm talking about. Um, oh well, to be fair, I might be buying a first seafood if I could choose. Yeah, 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 yeah. like yeah, it's a it's a it's a subjective. Thing, food right um 
That's why food takes like in streams are like always like a, a an attention getter, right? Because everyone has an opinion <laughs> when it comes to like food, right? So um, uh, my cat left. Oh no, princess. Yeah, I I guess us talking about beef kind of like um, put your cat off. Is he? <laughs> I don't like seafood, princess. Okay, well. Again, again, I, I, I was just saying, yeah, like, um, food takes are very, like, attention-getting because, like, everyone has strong opinions about food. <laughs> um, but, sorry, yeah, um, yeah, I really don't? Okay, well, yeah, 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 it's, it's not for everyone, it's not for everyone. Um, especially here, I don't know why, but it was, well, it's just our archipelago country supposed to eat seafood more than land animals true 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 like it, it really depends on the kind of where you live right um i'm not sure but if i lived in alberta right i would be eating a lot of this stuff right like the one you're seeing right now on your screen um because i think it's cheaper right i think i think burda beef is cheaper compared to like beef here um yeah i'd be i can afford it um, the smell throws you? Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. It's like that stinky fish smell. Eh. Eh. Again, like, I think VA probably knows this, but, um, you kind of learn to ignore the smell. Yeah. Uh, I used to love sushi, though, but I can't have it anymore. Okay. Was it, like, a, a development in, like, in your body that, like, is like not not making it good for you anymore like because that's, that's kind of weird for me at least like i would think like liking like foods in terms of general in terms of like getting into thick like, foods like it's more of like you like expanding as opposed to like you like converging like 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 because that's the thing right like you know you know you know kids meals right you know you know like uh in restaurants like I'm not sure if like this is a thing in 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 Asia, but here in North America, and possibly in, even in Europe, um, when you go to a restaurant, um, they they hand you a menu, and that menu will have like you know their 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 their, their thing, right? They have the entrees, they have their apps, they have like their desserts, and oftentimes they will have a kids menu, and that kids menu, funny enough. Um, whenever like I have vegetarian friends um, eating out, I would often joke um, t um, to them that, "Oh, I guess you're you're gonna have the kids menu today," <laughs> because um, yeah, uh, it's 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 uh, because because the kids menu will have either just the fries, a hot dog, or a burger, and then like um, and that's it. I think that's pretty much it, or like mac and cheese. And that's it. That's 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 and and um, when you grow up, basically, you expand away from the kids' menu and towards like the entrees and all this stuff. That's 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 why, that's why like it was kind of weird for me to hear that like, princess over the course of time, you know, she enjoyed sushi at first and then gradually need can't have sushi. So because I, my my that's my um kind of like mindset when it comes to food is that you expand. I uh, understand, but maybe you're smelling just sensitive. Maybe just bad luck with seafood cooks around. Probably. This trend. I'm immunosuppressed now. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it, it's a health thing, it's a health thing. Yeah. So, um, princess will probably like if if you if you guys t follow princess and like you know just chat about like you know, you know what what are you like as a person, princess? Like you will come to like find out like what you know, kind of like her 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 status, right? So. I, I I won't I won't I won't talk about it because like it's impolite. Um you know, he, she's here. She can she can talk about that in detail, but um uh in her own stream, so Yeah, yeah. Or or she could she could talk about it right now here in my chat. In which, is, in which case like it, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> um But yeah, well, like Princess and I have uh, have talked about this before, so my sense of smell, smell is super sensitive. Yeah. Uh, speaking of those vegan type, they always brag about Asian being eating more veggies. Ain't cement. We're mostly 
here that you can. Okay, for, for what I understand, yeah. Um, uh, based on the economy, um, and meat generally being more expensive, like the diet in those countries tend to be more veggie oriented. Yeah. I guess for but best health you. Yeah. No, no, no. It's 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 a, it's a real thing. Uh, VA. Uh, princess. Uh, with princess. Um, but uh, yeah. Um. Going back to that, um, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, there is some, yeah, there is some dissonance, yeah. Which, by the way, like, would weird me out because, like, okay, okay, um, so I'm gonna show you guys, the, you know, tempe, the soy and mushroom block. What? No. Soy mushroom. Ooh, this looks good. By the way, Princess, can you have this? <laughs> um, oh, it is tofu. Uh, rich mushroom coconut sauce. I love coconut. Yeah. Fermented soybeans. Yeah, it's tofu. Um, oh, wait, these are ingredients. Mushrooms, tofu, onion, garlic. Soy sauce. I guess this is coconut milk and a bunch of leaves. <gasps> maple syrup. What the hell? You guys use maple syrup? That's not. That's not Indonesian. <laughs> uh, cornstarch. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is basically like a soupy tofu. Uh, a, a creamy soup of tofu. Yeah. This, this is good. This is good. Yeah, if you're a vegetarian, or like if you're not vegetarian, and you're like, you know what, I don't, I kind of want to like experience what it's like to be vegetarian. This is a kind of, this is probably a good like, um, introduction. Um, yeah, they brag about it for guys, they're poor guys, cheaper sort of. This is called satay bokek, that means broke man's cure. Really now, really now. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, 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 um, I think tofu in asia is cheap because this is yeah tofu is rich in protein um and it's not meat it's not you're not butchering soybeans right uh uh you, you pull them from the ground right the soybeans and then you you pull out the soybeans from the plant right you're not doing all of that you know meat stuff uh but yeah, no, this, this is a good this is a good introduction to like um a vegetarian cuisine. Yeah. Uh, where was I? So yeah, but where was I getting? Um prices. Yeah, I was gonna go for prices. Um so this is like um a typical um ramen place here uh in North America. And um if I go check up the menu, let's say in Ontario. Um, uh, let's go get the ramen, bowl of ramen, right? Um, the pork original here. Uh, this costs, what? Like 25 Canadian? Which amounts, like, roughly, like, 20 US. 20 US dollars, right? Um, this is, like, 20 US dollars, by the way, right? Alright, follow, follow, follow me along here. Um, so 20 US dollars to, um... I guess Indonesian rupiah. That's how much a bowl of ramen costs here in uh, in North America. <laughs> I know it's a lot. <laughs> the budget's clearly way too much. Website. <laughs> uh, probably, probably. I think, I think, I think we're paying more, princess, in just the the advertising. <laughs> but look at this! Look at this! It's just it's it 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 looks good. Um, uh, but it's a kind of a, it's kind of a small bowl. Um, uh, yeah. And the thing is, like, I've been to Japan, right? And this costs, what? Five US. This is five US dollars in Japan. Probably even bigger. The bowl is bigger. <laughs> um... 
He was so much. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, I'm gonna stick to Grex. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like, um, the thing is though, I love ramen. Ramen is like a dip, a good like winter food. Like, and I'm I'm always torn on how expensive this is. Um, even though I know for a fact, like in other countries, this is like a fraction of the cost. To be fair about money conversion, I personally think there's the difference in conversion actual prices. Really? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, yeah, converted. But maybe it's localized, so I don't know how to just twenty-five thousand rupiah. Okay. That's that's a huge difference, by the way, VA. But um, that's that's almost black market level sort of difference. <laughs> um, I don't know. Um. I'm not sure if I'm breaking like TOS if I start talking about the black market now. Even though like in my previous Soprano stream, I literally had nudity there and gambling. Um, by the way, I should like um, I, I'm almost I'm almost about to finish that. By the way, um, that game I'll probably like devote like a stream next week just to finish that game. I like to finish games. I like to go check out their like credits, uh, their endings. So, uh, but yeah, no, um. I guess like going back to like the uh the steak, yeah, like to this is, like, yeah. So how do you how do you guys like your steak? How do how do you guys how do you, how do you how, like do you guys like it? I know I know everyone. I think I think most of you like it cooked like well done. I think. Uh, but I'm kind of curious like, what, what what does Robo and what does Luke like about their how their steaks done? Uh, like my pal said in the U.S., the amount he spends good cost ten dollar. This is how you spend ten dollar a uh, ten k rupiah. Oh, what is how much is an average meal in the? How much is an average meal in, in Indonesia cost? This is the, <gasps> inexpensive twenty five thousand rupiah. Okay, well, maybe that kind of makes sense. Um. I order well done because most chefs refuse to do it, so you get a nice video. Well done. <laughs> really, really, okay. I will, you know, you know, this is the reason why I, 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 I do this. I, I so that whenever I, I go like visit your, your, I, uh, uh, your countries, guys, like I, I, I know what to do, right? Because you lived, you lived in that vicinity. You know, I want to act like a local. So whenever I go, to, so so if I go back to the UK, especially if I if I ever end up in like you know. In Yorkshire, um, I'm not gonna order my usual, which is a uh, a medium a medium rare. I'm actually yeah, I'm I'm a, I'm a bit of a cannibal. Uh, I'm a bit of a hypocrite. I actually do order a medium rare. Um, uh, or no, not medium rare, medium. I do medium, medium. No, okay, okay. you know what? Yeah, meat. I order a medium. It's been a while since I've actually been to a steakhouse, but I've been, I order do a medium. Uh, but yeah. Um, uh, I get uh, yeah me. Uh, it's medium. I don't know what you guys, but well, well, well done is basically like yeah, you kind of like, kind of like how might as well like go for like a grill. Might as well grill grill your own meat, right? If I'm going for a fancy steakhouse, I'm gonna order a medium because uh most of the time if I grill meat on my own, I do it well done, right? Because, you know, you just have, like, a big fire, right? And you put the meat on top of, like, the thing. And then, then let that thing, like, literally, like, burn to a crisp, right? And that's it. <laughs> I have to eat my steak medium well because it's not. <laughs> I guess peer pressured. I never had a well-done steak when ordering well done. <laughs> really? Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess, like, in, your, in Yorkshire, like, no one seems to understand what... A well done steak is looks like so anything medium or above also with gravy oh medium i said like medium to well done with gravy yeah okay no that's that's that's, that's oh yeah, yeah yeah i think it's steakhouses they do offer gravy yeah yeah, yeah 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 they do that yeah what happens if you order medium <laughs> admittedly have it tried yeah, I, I mean, like, I, I don't, I don't want to clown on Luke way too much, but um, um, but I don't think um, he's in a proper position yet to try out stuff, right? So, 
I, I mean, I could have, I, I could probably like use better words, but I think that I, I'm, I'm trying to be polite here, but um, I think that's the best I could make up. I, I could call conjure <laughs> with it. Uh, I'm existing a little, so yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, fair, also. Also with rice, yes. Um, uh, I know, I know. This is, I know. Um, I'm a big rice guy. Um, I, I like to eat everything with rice. Um, but the thing is, like steaks, um, admittedly, don't pair well with rice for me, at least. Um, that this is one exception to the rule in terms of me like having rice on everything. Like, um, steaks are actually good with potatoes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, uh, I get told I don't like steak. I like jerky. Jerky? You know what? Um, uh, jerky. I used to like jerky until like it until it get until like it gets stuck in your teeth, right? I, there's been countless moments where like I would have jerky, and I would spend maybe an hour or two trying to get that jerky off of my teeth. Yeah, right. See, I have, I have shark teeth, right? Right. <laughs> so um, I I I'm not I'm not. It's I don't have trouble with eating jerky. It's just that it gets stuck in my tooth. Um, so if you ask how that at least give me carbs to make me feel full. True, 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 true. With the rice, right? Yeah. Same. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the the stuck in teeth thing. Yeah, I don't know. I I I, I like jerky, but it's just way too much trouble. To me to clean my teeth afterwards. Just give me a lot every day nonstop. Oh yeah, the, the jerky? Like they used to give you a lot of that? Oh god, no. Yeah, it, it's you get sick of it, to be honest. I just got handed a panzerati? What? What's that? Panzerati. Oh my goodness. Hey don't. What's this? Uh, sorry. I, I, I know. I'm, it's just Italian stereotypes are fun. Um, uh, I've never had this before. Looks good, though. Looks good. This looks great. Oh, it's a dessert. I call it a calzone. Um, and for it, can't have proper rice and dishes meal out in the field. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, it's over. Yeah. You can have porridge, I think, right? You can have porridge in the, out in the field. Porridge is good. It's a piece of pizza folded in half. It does look like a pizza folded in half. Yeah. Oh, wait. It's... it's, it's oh, you can either have it dessert way or, like, app way. Yeah. Like, same salami. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pizza Paldo. Pizza seasoning. Rated mozzarella. Mm. Yeah, it's pizza pasty. Yeah. By the way, uh, if people are wondering what the pasty is, it's a it's um, it's a savory uh pastry. It's it's British. I know. Um. It's just pizza, but they only have toppings for half the diameter. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. This looks good, princess. This looks good. I would have this. Um. But yeah, it's um. It just occurred to me. <laughs> By the way, chat. I, I, um, uh, we're two hours and a half in. Not one single Japanese. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, people are probably like filing in, thinking, oh, you know what? This guy's learning Japanese. You got the bandana and everything. You got the RTK there. And here I am staring at a Panzerati. Um, <laughs> you know what? It's not the first time. It's not the first time this has ever happened to my stream. Um, my um Japanese JP learning stream. Um, uh, yeah, it's um. I was about, I was about to check. No, 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 no. I could, I could probably like you know, maybe I'll announce it like next next JP learning stream. Um, yeah, like I'm I'm cooking something. I'm cooking something. <laughs> the, the Italian friendship, Japan Italian friendship. I don't know. Maybe they have actually like good relations right now. 
uh, the Japanese and the Italians. I'm not saying like. It's fine. I've been able to really chat and stream for a while. Okay. Yeah. 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 No. I, I mean, I, I say this. I say. I say this. Um. You know. But I actually like. I can. I can like learn. Off stream as well, right? I usually take this like as a moment to kind of like just connect with chat as well. So. I really want a steak bake, but that was. <laughs> you know what? You know what? You know what? That's good. That's, you know. So this is this is what this is what Luke is pining for. Um, is the Greg steak bake, which is basically just a roti. This is just a roti. Right. Are, are, are you with me on this, um, princess? This is just a roti. This is what a roti looks like, by the way. Unless like you're unfamiliar, unless you already know. Um, um oh wait no actually no you're you're probably probably wrong yeah rotis are actually something you just you dip this is just a wrapped roti already yeah say just a hot pocket yeah <laughs> uh we have rotis here i'm not sure like do we do steak bakes um uh but yeah it looks good beef stock steak bake steak beef Roti's just red. What's up, Hot Pockets, so people know? You know what? Yeah, we're gonna look up a Hot Pocket. By the way, this is like the most dumbest thing I've ever looked into, like, Google. Uh, me, like, Googling up Hot Pockets. <laughs> but then again, maybe, maybe this, is for, this is for VA, because, like, I don't think Hot Pockets are a thing in Indonesia. Uh, but yeah, no, this is Steak Bake. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, I just occurred to me. I, I, I kind of did you dirty here once again, Luke. I, I, I looked up an image that you are salivating right now, uh, for right now, and um, yeah. Now you're looking at it. I'm sorry about that. Let, let me take that down. Um. Uh. It's a hot pocket. You know the thing apparently, purely in UK and Sweden. Oh, it's not a thing in. Oh, hot pockets. Okay, okay. No, I, I can see that. I can see that. I never actually had a Hot Pocket. Mm, you're not busy out much, princess. Um, rotis usually refer to Indian flatbread pastry like right. But I don't know why. And, and returns just general bread stuff in Indonesia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had the same like react. I had the same relationship with roti. I was like, oh, it's like um, non, like, you know, that you wrap around with some like, you know, um, savory sauce, right? But yeah, apparently no. I'm I'm being, I'm being dumb. Oh yeah, Greg's has opened like a fancy venue nearish you, and I really gotta go for the meme. But you got a book and everything. Oh, like that thing. Yeah, that they um. Greg's. They're 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 Greg's, they're the fancy Greg's. Yeah, bistro Greg's, bistro Greg's. Hey. Eh? Yeah, to people who are unfamiliar with what what Luke and I are talking about. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Fine dining. <laughs> Sorry, this, yeah, this is funny. Elevated experience from the bakery chain. Yeah, just imagine Greg's um what's what's like a I guess you could say like it's a Dunkin' Donuts or something. I don't know. Uh, but in the movie, the court ultimate hack to the world wanted, and the supply of hot pockets for saving the world. Yeah, apparently, yeah. Um, hot pockets are like the food of du jour for um shut-ins and like um you know uh hackers, I guess. Non is a type of roti. What? Oh, okay. 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 And I, I and I know I know non is just basically the word for bread. Uh, in Hindi, right? And all that goes like a type of roti, but cat cas I'm not gonna pronounce that. Um it, what do yeah, maybe I could just like copy and paste that. Um oh, so welcome boss the stream. <laughs> Bistro Craig's <laughs> it's funny. Um Oh, whoa whoa. It 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 it's basically the same. Uh what is this? What is this? Oh, a Dutch stack. Oh, okay. Oh, there we go. We got some Dutch viewers in the chat. Wait, are you Dutch, boss? 
Um, Dutch snack of melted cheese inside a thin dough base wrap. I love cheese. I like read. Gorengan. Richter. Oh. That's where the Indomie comes from? Indomie goreng? Cheat food called gorengan fritter. Yeah, because I love Indomie. Ooh. Okay. Uh, we kind of have hot pockets here called the Risoles. Risoles. Usually softer crust, though. Okay, not this kind of crust. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Game of food. Yeah, exactly. Like, um... Uh, but to be honest, I don't just have chips or a banana whenever I game. So, I, I know I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of old when it comes to my 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 food choices. More probably just old in general. <laughs> uh, imagine Stuart learning about non from anime. No, I know I know what non's about. That's why I, I don't I don't say chai tea nor non bread right because that's that's basically you saying tea tea and not and bread bread right. You don't say that. I, I whenever whenever people in Starbucks order chai tea, I cringe a bit. Or when people like say like, oh, you want to go get 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 some non bread on the go? Like, I also cringe a bit when people say that because like you're just saying the same thing over and over again. <laughs> uh, also, why American bread a roll even though there's rolling in rolling? Well, I oh like Americans and people from the state because I think that's the states thing. I don't know either. I'm not. I'm not really much of a bread guy. Just being, just being honest with you guys. Like, um, yeah, I'm more of a rice man. Damn, I brought goreng and there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's 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 what. This is this is. We are having a um multicultural exchange, right? This is what happens, right? You know, like, this is good. That's good. Like, um, being able to expand your your uh, dietary choices is like. An output of this. Um, I really want a curry now. <laughs> hey man, curry's good. Curry good, especially, especially. Um, this is what I like ordering in Japan. Um, curry rice Japanese. Oh man, this is like your anime staple. Holy Christ, kare rice, kare rice is um like the best. Oh, this is this is this is katsu curry. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> or actually this. It's actually good. This is good. I ordered this a lot in Japan. Um you're welcome. <laughs> uh says, I guess you don't you don't don't try if you don't introduce your red stuffle. What's red stuffle? I like how my stream has just basically turned into a food stream. I love it. I love it. What the hell is this? Why is there like so many dishes? Oh god. Is this a breakfast? <gasps> is this like the full English bro? Oh, a rice table. Red stuffle. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I know a bit of German. Um Yeah. This looks good. I love this. Maybe the next time I go visit Europe, I'm gonna go have a red stuffle. Because I like I like rice. <laughs> um, but chai tea lol start with automatic in Malaysia orange turmeric chai <laughs> with some rye boost. oh god a uh, robo connect steward food yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I kind of want to do a cooking stream Um, I just can't like I, I, I still have to like figure out the logistics behind this Um, but yeah no this is good I love this ooh Kare and then rice. <laughs> uh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's uh, uh, funny enough. Like I still have like some, some, some jalapeno beef jalapeno salsa. Um, in the fridge. I have to go like finish that up. Um. Uh, I was in um, Fox Daddy's stream, and I made a horrible decision to rub my eyes with while eating jalapeno salsa. Do not do that. But that's life advice. Do not ever. Um, if you are, if if you, if you made jalapeno salsa, i.e., you were chopping up jalapenos, pinos, 
I know, it's Pinos. Um, and with the express intent of eating whatever you were making the jalapenos with, uh, at the same time, eat uh, your dish with gloves on. You will thank me later because I I, I don't know I it sticks it sticks to your skin and, and at some point you will rub your eyes I I don't I, I I doubt people have the self discipline to not not rub their eyes, um while probably like having your jalapeno, um, you know, uh derived food with, while probably like watching a stream or something, or a video, um but I would say just to like you know be on the safe side wear gloves while eating your jalapeno dish. Because you will rub your eyes, and it will be painful. Um, the, the only good thing that's the like, Frikadel and Hagel suck. Okay, I'm gonna look that up. Um, actually, get a good night this year. I'll take till December. So proud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A broken clock is twice sometimes. Right today, I, I keep forgetting what what how that saying goes. Um. Uh, Frikadel, Frikadel. I gotta be honest with you, Chief. I gotta be honest with you. This doesn't look appetizing. Um, this looks like um something that comes out of the back end of something. Um. Uh. Yeah. Um. I'm not even sure. It looks like a blood sausage. Is this a blood sausage? Oh, minced pork. And other meat. Oh, it's a it's a sausage. It's a pork sausage. Okay. Yeah. I mean, the the presentation could be a bit better. Um, okay, cool, cool. It seems like you, it seems, if, if, if VA likes that, I'm going to take his word for it. Um, uh, and then that was Hagelsack. Oh my God. Is this just basically like, is this just, is this just, um, chocolate sprinkles on a piece of toast? Our response to chocolate was buttered bread. Oh, buttered bread. Oh, okay. Okay. What? Wait, wait, what? What? You, you, you put. So you have a piece of toast, and then you slap, you slather on some butter, and then you sprinkle chocolate sprinkles on top of it. What? But yes, but it tastes good. Don't don't toast. Oh, don't toast. Okay, uh, just cold bread. Ah, okay, tastes good. Hey, eh? I mean, I could probably make this now. I have I have a, a a stick of butter in my fridge. Oh wait, I don't have any bread. Well, I could probably get one. Um, um, uh, but yes, it is simple. Yeah, 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 yeah. I could make. It. Yeah, I guess that's 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 the um that's that that's what's. Uh, that's what's going for. Um, it has going for. Um, sorry, uh, okay. Another another fact about me is that um, um, as time progresses, my English basically goes out the wazoo, right? Like um, I literally like de de uh, devolve into like a guttering mess, right? Like um, I don't know, like. <laughs> uh, but that's the reason why like I typically like only stream for like maybe like. That's many hours. Oh no, Jove, Jove. Um, uh, Konbanwa, uh, Watashi no, uh, uh, okay, I don't know what this, I, for I keep forgetting this kanji. Hang on. Um, friend, Watashi no Tawadachi. Ah, Watashi no Tawadachi. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I, do, I, I, I knew it was, I knew it was Tawadachi. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, konbanwa, yome. Uh, <laughs> sumimasen. Nah, no Japanese today. <laughs> um, but yeah, welcome, welcome to the stream, welcome to the stream. Yeah. Um, but we like to joke about the good legacy of the colonials. It's in sarcasm. The good left is the one with zero effort. Yeah. No, it's good. It's good. Like this is what I'm talking about. Like um, um. Uh, this is like, um, the exchange of cultures often, like, well, you know, often, like, uh, what, 
what bores out of that is just good food, right? I love it. I love it. Like, like it's, it's what's happening right now. Like, I didn't know this was a thing. Like, chocolate sprinkles and buttered bread. Um, apparently, it tastes good. I mean, at first glance, it might not, but apparently it does. So, uh, uh, but yeah, no, uh, Jomei, like, we were just talking about food at this point. Like, um, <laughs> I haven't even got to my Anki exercises, so, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I need to make Anki, see? Also, really close to Martabak Manik. That thing's gonna kill you. A uh, Manis. What? What's a Martabak Manis? It's like one of those, like, food items where, like, you, you, it's like a, it's like a dare or something. Ooh! Mmm. Butter sprinkles, pancakes. Mmm. Yeah, this might be too sweet, but I I might probably like ninja. I might I might have this. Yeah. Um. I had a dinner today. Oh, cool, cool. By the way, uh, I always wondered like is is dinner like um. A German food or a Turkish food? Because I know like. I know like. Because the thing is, like, I, I think Döner was invented in Germany, right? It was brought in by, like, someone, someone else, some, somewhere else, like in Turkey or something? I don't know. I feel like you with chances of coroner clogged up with diabetes. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I understand. I, I think, judging from, like, the site alone of said pancake sandwich, like, you know, like... But for, like, North Americans, like, I, I don't think this is going to be a problem, VA. <laughs> um... Uh, because there's so much. It had to become a German household because there's so much. Yeah, because that's the same thing with like um, it's the same thing with like with chicken tiki masala, right? People think like this is like um, Indian, but it's actually British. Like this is not made in. This is this is not like. I'm not sure. I'm sure, but my, I think I think people will have to like have to like school me on this one. But I don't. I, I think this is like uh, this was invented in Britain, but was like influenced by you know yeah they, by 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 you know by people from the sub from the, sub from the subcontinent said so. At least donors actual Turk one. Okay. Yeah, this is what like yeah the, like. Uh, this, as well as the Dunner, I think I thought like, okay, Dunner probably was invented in, in Germany or something. It's the most popular UK dish, right? Right, right. I, I, I had this in Cambridge, um, a lot. So, I think I was the only. I think that the, the, I think yeah, because it, it was, it was everywhere. So, I think it's a dish made by the Turkish guest workers in Berlin. That's not right? Yeah. Uh. Yeah, that's why, like, whenever people talk about Döner, I'm like, oh, it's probably from... Yeah, I think it's a German dish, because everyone just eats Döner over there. I, like, <laughs> uh, I thought that Döner was turkey. That's probably I don't know. The only time they... The only... Like, I, like unironically... Yeah, 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 it's very popular in the UK, this 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 thing. The only time they use spices, they took a long time to call out. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, like, they had to, like, they had to at some point, right? Um, hey, even the steak bakes probably have spices, right, Luke? Um, it's not like like you enjoy your steak bake with just salt and pepper. Um, they had to like put something in there. That <laughs> was, uh, but yeah, no, like um, it's 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 gravy in there. Yeah, I think I think with gravy you put beef stock, right? I know. I, I funny enough, I only learned how to make gravy recently. Um, beef stock, maybe some seasoning like salt and pepper, um, some cornstarch, and uh, some, I guess some water. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, uh, and then you like um mix it all together, 
like put it in a boil and then lower it to a simmer and based on the amount of cornstarch or water you put in it'll it, that will like determine how thick or creamy your gravy would be so honestly i've not checked exact ingredients i just know it tastes good i don't know i mean i've never had bad gravy i might be like i might be um tempting people here with a response because people might have that may not be a true statement. There are, there could probably be instances of bad gravy. Do you want to do the gravy being too runny or like, it's just, it's just basically like water, colored water, right? I think that's the, the most you could do to like F up, you know, gravy, right? Uh, snobs always saying salt and pepper only. Some people like, some people like to guess like it. Like <laughs> you know what? Yeah, you're, you're, you're probably right. You're probably right. Um, I, I, for one, am guilty of that, um, because I'm okay, I, I do, I, I, I'm a, I, I do like my SNP, that's for sure, um, yeah, it's just that, yeah, probably, like, maybe I'm, I'm a bit British in that, in that regard, in terms of, like, um, I get, I'm too scared to, to experiment with spices, <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it's it's it's. I don't know. I guess I'm just. I guess I guess. <laughs> I hope you guys still talk to me in that if with that fa with that fact that's still out out the back. So, um, but yeah, no, it's um. Again, sorry, Jomi. If like you're expecting to like um, get some Japanese done, I. Th I think <laughs> this is the worst stream to be in. <laughs> uh, finally, English fluency somewhat revived. Almost forgot how to use this abomination of language. I mean, it's okay. I mean, that's how we converse, right? Um, uh, we have to thank Luke uh, for that. <laughs> um, that English is like, you know, very very versatile i would say right um compared to japanese um japanese um as i've discovered and jomi and i have discovered um it's actually like going the way go, going the way to english actually um they they've started adopting english words most of the time right um in in their normal speech uh which is both funny and sad <laughs> uh because that's how i kind of like got around in japan i um i've been to japan and um i i often got by by using katakana katakana is basically this um it's just a way for you to like uh say like foreign loan words in japanese and I got by. I got by with this. Um and uh yeah, no, it's 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 as time progresses, a lot of like younger Japanese tend to like use English words now. So I think you if if you actually go to Japan right now, like you think you I think you can get by with just using the katakana. Um do you know where butter chicken is from? Also, so actually, you know what? Um, before I go off another tangent, um, but don't take my word for it. Um, like seriously, like you might need to know a, a few Japanese phrases, say right then. Uh, by the way, like if you are, um, uh, sumima sumimasen and uh is actually a, an extremely extreme. I do not. I can't stress this enough. Suimasen is a very, 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 very important word to know before you go to Japan. Suimasen can be used either as a form of a greeting, like say, like Suimasen, uh, etto, uh, uh, ikura, ikura desu ka? Like, like, we're wondering, wondering how much this costs, right? Um, or Suimasen, as in sorry, it's like you're just sorry for everything. Suimasen, you know, because I'm, I'm being a foreigner, right, in your, in your country. Um, do you know where butter chicken is from? <laughs> I was about to say like um, 
I was as a joke, like you know that uh that Indian place like just across the street from where I live. Um, I don't know. Um, I know like I know like the subcontinent has like a, a lot of different nations in there. By the way, like um, India, you can't really like just you can't just like um say India and like that'll be like the whole thing, right? India has a lot of different nations inside of that country. Um, so yeah, th don't make that mistake. Like um, there are people like in the south who talk a t totally different language, has a totally different culture, and there are, and there are other different cultures within the south as well of India. And there are people in the north that has the same thing going on. Used to be an Indo EN translator. Oh, okay. I'm ready to start my own bakery till now. He's done. Randos. Since it's doing Indo clan, I almost never use properly again. Um. Oh, I, I, I'm assuming you're talking about about English. Um. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Again, the same thing with J Japanese. If you don't use, if you don't, if you don't practice your Japanese, you will, you will lose it. So. I don't like to excuse me. I guess I find why Indo likes to excuse me almost impulsively. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, I think, in a way, like, I think, I think the Japanese, like, way of, like, saying so you must say it over and over again, I think that's universal. Like, that, that's not really a Japanese centric thing, but it is, like, useful. If ever you're in Japan, um, the word so you must say, um, because, uh, it's the same way, like, with us, us Canadians, like, um, we say sorry all the time just to diffuse situations um uh, because you but then there is we have this thing in in western societies where like people will get irritated if you overly apologize um i don't really still i still can't understand why people are get get offended with that but anyway that's a thing um uh, by the way have i told you about that that I applied for a semester. Oh, you did? Oh, congratulations, Jome. Yay, yay. Oh man, I wish I could do the same. I wish I could do the same. I want to go back. I want to go back to Japan. Oh man, I'm so jealous. I'm so envious of you, Jome. Congratulations. Um, I wish I, I wish I wish I was you. To be honest. It was invented in Scotland. What? You're joking. You're joking. It was invented in. It was invented in Delhi. Are you sure? Maybe we're talking about the different butter chicken here. Oh. Or maybe Wikipedia is wrong because someone probably edited this before I um looked it up. Yeah. Um, actually, some Japanese stuff still stuck here, like Tonarigumi school system and school years here. Still use six year. Oh really? Damn! You get the shogako, shogako and koko, eh? Uh, system. Yeah, grade school, middle school, and uh, high school. Literally invented because the average bit couldn't handle spice. <laughs> yeah. But I don't know. I, I Maybe it's because... I don't know. Maybe... maybe I don't know, because I, I know, I know, I know... And I'm not guilty. I'm guilty of this as well. But I, I know, like... Uh... British people love to like have a little beer, you know, have a little bit of a lager every now and then, you know, have a little drinky drinky time, right? I don't think I don't think I don't think spices and beer mix, right? I don't think alcohol and spices mix. Um, I think whatever happened in 1940 to 1945, yeah, man, the Japanese were in a different like mode back then so now i'm i'm that mo uh, now they're, they're like me like cute sorry i i can't I, I, <laughs> i'm i like I, like they're anime like me i'm saying i was uh, what 
I can't seem. Whenever, whenever I try to praise myself, I, it feels wrong. Sorry. Uh. Um. Also, military kind of start as collaborative militia then. Mm, yeah. Yeah. The Japanese have a very storied history in um Southeast Asia. Back to back to, back to chicken. Yeah, love chicken. Uh, tikka masala was made in the UK, yes, but the modern butter chicken was too. Oh, okay, cool, 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 cool. Yeah, I, I, I'm not, not sure. I'm not sure if you still, uh, if you guys haven't like realized, but uh, yeah, I like food. <laughs> um, I could talk about food all the time, and in fact, like we, that's literally what he just talked about throughout the rest of the stream. So um, yeah. I try, I will try not to um to talk about this in the next Japanese learning stream because I will literally like just you know go off that tangent forever. Who <laughs> is great? Oh, I'm glad I'm glad I'm glad you think that way, Jomi. I kind of feel bad that like I never got around to like getting the Japanese done. I'll try, I'll, I'll I'll um I'll um study off stream um just to, like cover kind of like what i missed out here um but chicken is normally insanely spicy yeah 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 you know what you're right um i go to this indian place um where i used to work back you no know, in, in a different like position different like uh agency um one thing i remember um I order their butter chicken or like their chicken curry, or whatever. And I always made sure that I would get a large can of Pepsi all the time. And that's because it's too freaking spicy. Like I I'm too I I like I I I I I'm too shy to tell the cooks that your your that your your stuff is too spicy. So I do like the, you know, the beta way of just basically like getting a, a, a very sweet soft drink and make uh, make that like a big can of soft drink just so I can like offset the spice they put in that stuff. <laughs> uh, uh, that people won't, I mean, they, they, they probably know that I, that the reason why I, I do that, you know, in the back of their heads, uh, like Stuart can't handle the spice, but, uh. That's what I do. Uh, whenever like there is a whenever I I come I come across food that's too spicy for me, um, uh, I get a big can of Pepsi. <laughs> I guess it's portable, a uh, food uh, but but uh, it's portable everyday version of stuff they took to the British Museum. But the uh... Oh, I talking about like uh, equipment or food. Um, that's why on Indian restaurants you can add for Indian and white people versus. <laughs> that's the thing that I don't I don't have the nerve to ask for that. That's the problem, VA. Like I don't have the courage to like, hey, this 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 thing is too spicy, right? <laughs> uh, have milk next time. Oh, true, true. Yeah, I guess I can have milk. Do they serve milk in Indian restaurants, though? I'm not great with spice anymore because of the hospital food. Oh, oh, I've heard about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once you get, once you like, once you like, um, get accustomed to hospital hospital food, um, yeah, it's 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 like you don't get out of that. Um, that set that that setup. I heard about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Also, speaking of hospital food, uh, I'm not sure if you guys have like traveled, have like been on pl airplanes, but I for one love air uh airplane food, like the 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 stuff you get in like airplanes, uh, where like they serve you like this like, a little like container with foil on top of it that they just reheated, um, in the in the in the airplane's oven or something. I love that. I love I love food that comes out of that thing. I don't know why. Uh, also, I remind me I can't eat dry food for much anymore. Oh, what? Why? Why is what? Why? Why is that? Va? Why can't you eat dry food? 
My fiance is... <laughs> and he's better with spice than me. Well, because you had you, you had an actual physical condition, princess. It's not like an... Yeah, you're you're excused. <laughs> Apparently VA as well. Um, since tonsil operation, always fed wet stuff for obvious reasons. Okay, damn. Um, yeah, no, I, that's why that's why guys, guys, apart from princess and VA, you gotta go take care of your bodies, right? You gotta take care of your bodies because, um, your bodies are like you know. Your temple, like you, you, you got. This is how you like enjoy the world. Whether you use your bodies in a lewd, uh, obscene way, in which, in which case I don't judge. Um, but or, or like you just want to like taste stuff, like or like you know experience stuff. You know, your bodies is what makes it possible. <laughs> uh, I prefer soupy food. I think worth oh, with broth. I love I, I love ramen. I, I feel you, brother. I feel you. Um, uh, so, I mean, I still eat dry stuff, but I have right from my mouth, throat. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, no, no, no. You you eat food because you enjoy it. You know, it's experience, right? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Like, you gotta go take care of yourselves, man. Like, if you happen to be like, um. Only getting like three hours of sleep. Don't get eight hours of sleep. If you are not eating well, don't eat well. Don't just have hot pockets or steak bakes or like hoggle sogs like every day, right? <laughs> not Stuart dating. <laughs> I can't enjoy life or be looted. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no! You can be lewd. You can be lewd. All I'm saying, like that's, I think you misunderstood me. No, you got to take care of your body so you can be lewd and enjoy life because your body is what helps you achieve that. You know. That's it. Uh, oh, not saying. Oh, not saying. Not saying I can't enjoy life. Oh, sorry. They saying. Oh, God, I get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I didn't see, I see the correction there. I'm being called out. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm, just, I'm just saying i'm just saying um you know but then again you know what you know what luke luke um no 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 no. i i'm being hypocritical i'm knowing where knowing where you come from knowing your history i think i i i, I think i think i have it on good authority you're healthier than me you like um uh, yeah and i am I'm basically being a hypocrite, right? So, <laughs> but yeah, no. but when, when am I not being, when am, when am I not a hypocrite? I think. Sorry, I gotta hydrate a bit. Uh. Oh, by the way, gotta get officer training around next week. If, I, if I'm not come to visit, you know why? Okay. V8. Again, as I, t as I, as I've told people before, um, and probably if, if, if everyone are here in chat right now who are like, you know, shy, you know, you know, you know, um, you know, to try to still try to get to know me and my community. Um, I am very grateful. I am very, very like honored even that you, you elected to spend time with me. Like, you know, um, and you know i can't i can't be like you know it, 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 it you don't have no you guys have no idea like how like you know like wow like va literally like took the time to literally just you know waste three hours of his life just so i could ramble and talk about butter chicken right um <laughs> uh it, it it's, it's great it's great um and no i, I appreciate you guys like I hope like you guys like continue to enjoy the vibe, continue to enjoy the content, no matter how half baked it is. Uh, <laughs> I really wish I don't get promoted on the time. <laughs> yeah, no, but, uh, it's a double edged sword, like moving up the ranks. Uh, SVW. No, no, no. I, 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 I try. I try. I try. Um, 
but yeah, no, um, I, you know, like I, I, I totally appreciate like um, you guys like just you know just lending your ear and on, and, and you are all welcome to like um, do the same thing. Like you can waste my time. I mean, I, you wasted you guys wasted my time. Like right, you know, like I was able to get my Japanese done. Total waste of time. But it's, <laughs> but uh, you know what they say, right? You know what they say. Time enjoyed wasted is time not um, not wasted at all, right? I probably butchered that thing, but um, I, I, I believe that. I believe that. <laughs> um, but yeah, no. Um, and I guess, exactly. Eight dudes, half of them older than me is already weird enough for me. <laughs> 32 plus 8. 32 plus 8. Yeah. Oh, man. I kind of don't envy you there, um, VA. I... Um, I guess that's life advice. That's life advice. If you were given an option in your job, right, to be in a managerial position, run. Do not take it. Do not take it. Do not take that. Um, uh, do not take that promotion. Just, just quit. <laughs> just, 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 just cut loose. Like because additional stress, not enough. Not, 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 not even like. Not even like a raise, pay raise. I mean, if, even if you do get a pay raise, it's it's nothing. And that's it. There's nothing going going for you there. Um, so that'll be like my closing advice to people, right? Um, it's um three minutes. Oh, sorry, three hours and six minutes. I've been snoozing my ads so I could like uh, uh prevent people from like getting ads as I as I look for someone to raid. Yeah, I we have totally we have utterly failed chat. We have like not have done we have done zero Japanese. Uh so uh yeah, uh yeah, we 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 screwed up. But you know what? Um uh, let's, let's let's just do some let's just let's reattempt this um uh, next week. Um and let me see. Uh Oh, you know what? I see, like, I, I, so I got, the, I, I made a new friend, and you know what, he's, I think he has the same kind of content. I see spreadsheets. Let's go, let's go over to him. Let's go over to him. Uh, <laughs> well, I don't know, since I'm not full-time, it's not in training, I'm civilian, so why am I just still in my bakery? Ah? Uh -huh. uh. Okay, okay, yeah, 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 you're, you're for the reservists, right? Yeah, so, uh, so you're a cook, eh? Nice. I, I. Yeah, the military basically has everyone in their ranks. But yeah, no, um, yeah, I will go raid Ian Quest. Um, he's streaming something. I I see a I see a spreadsheet. But I made a new friend, and you know what? You probably might make new friends there as well. So um, yeah, let's go raid him. Um, and yeah, I hope to hope to see you guys there. Like, just you know, for quick channel points and stuff like that. Um. And uh yeah, uh I hope to see you guys in my next streams. Yeah, so um had fun and I hope you guys had too. But this is me and uh yeah. Uh, I'll um I'll see you in the next one. Ciao!